What is going on, everybody? Welcome to the stream. I am your host, Justin Roby, and this is Saturday, the last Saturday that we're going to be doing a build stream until I get back uh, from the uh, the good time over in uh, that I'm going to be doing for Thanksgiving. But welcome, everybody. We are going to be building in the Cooler Master Cube 500. This is how it comes. So I figured we'd do it from beginning to end. You're gonna see the whole thing. We have a really, really great build that we're gonna be building in with this today, which is actually gonna be a lot of fun. It's a $2,600 4K gaming PC. Um, and the only two that's gonna be super epic about it is just that uh, I, I feel like it has all the right parts in all the right places. We didn't overspend on anything. I think the only thing we could have done is a little bit less on the RAM, but you know, Patriot hooked us up with what we got. Um, and uh, you know, I'm, I'm excited about it. I think it's gonna be a very cool build when we're all said and done. I haven't played with the case. I haven't looked at it. You guys are gonna see what the experience is like just from the unboxing all the way to when the build is finished. Uh, in terms of, and PC guy, thank you very much for this, the tier two, uh, Shark Cache, tier one, most, Hated, sh hated Shadow, thank you very much for the tier one. We got a, we already got a, we already got a raid from Hitanus as well. And then PC guy, oh no, those were from yesterday. Okay, so thank you very much for all the raid, for all the views, for everything already, guys. You guys are awesome. We also got this epic, like, thing so I can hook up the, uh, so I can hook up the camera. So we, so we should get some more camera angles as well. So it should be a, should be a good stream today. So anyway, I just want to give a shout out to everybody and thank you very much for being here. Um, a couple things. We do have um, some giveaways that we're going to be doing today. Um, first and foremost, I'm sorry I was late. It's my daughter. She was in the Hunchback of Notre Dame. It's her high school productions. And so, uh, of course, I'm, there's no way as a dad I'm not going to make it. So it had to be super dad, um, which is going to be cool. Uh, the camera, we have done things like cameras with glass on them, stuff like that. The problem is, is that um, the latency between them isn't all that good. Um, and the only two is that, um, so there's nothing, there's not a really nice way to actually get them into OPS. So um, Tom, is, Tom is in the chat. As far as I know, he's been, he's been chatting with me on the, uh, on the stream, on, on tech. So um, she played one of the gargoyles. So she's a sophomore and she's just kind of coming in to it. But I mean, again, she was actually supposed to be the production, the actual lead in the last show, but she ended up having to go uh, to Australia for two weeks, so um, she will. She will definitely. Uh, I have a feeling the next show is supposed to be Mean Girls, and there's a good chance she'll be playing probably Regina George or one of those as well. But she's very talented. I know that's a dad talking, but it is actually true. Hey, S Dog, thank you very much for Tier One uh, sub as well. 19 months, and there we go. Um, what what are we going to talk about today? So a couple things. Like I said, giving away a Ryzen 7 7600X. So that is you guys have unlocked that as a community. We're going to be basically giving that away. Um, the other thing too is that again, big big focus for this stream. We're going to be driving towards. Uh, we're going to be driving towards uh, getting to um, basically getting to Partner Plus. And so I wanted to do something special because we're a hundred. We're 140 points away. 140 points away from unlocking Partner Plus. And so there's gonna be literally two, three, 400 people here. Here's the way I'm gonna do it, guys. If we, if we hit it today, if we hit it tonight, which means I'm, I'm, I'm throwing it out on you, it's, a, it's essentially a subathon, I will give away a laptop, the Legion Go laptop. It's a $1,400 laptop, absolutely phenomenal. A 13700HS, uh, it's got a uh, 4060 in it. It's a $1,500 laptop. If we hit that today, if you guys help me hit it, which is not gifted subs, you have to basically convert your sub. I will drop, I will drop a, uh, I'll drop you guys a laptop, but that's only if we hit it. Now we still have the other goals. Every 20 points we give away a, every 20 points we give away a, Sorry, every 25 points, we give away a one terabyte NVMe drive, but we need 140 points. Basically 140 points. That's tier two, tier three, and tier one subs. We do that, we give away a Legion Go laptop, and it's just sitting right there in the other room. It's a fantastic laptop. I actually hate that we're giving it away, but you know what, I couldn't think of a better way to make something like this happen. So all you gotta do is drop your sub. You can't be a prime sub, it has to be a tier one reoccurring, tier two reoccurring, or tier three reoccurring. Tier one is worth one point, tier two is worth three points, Tier three is worth six points. So again, we have to get to 140 points. If we get 140 points, I give away a laptop here on the show. It's a brand new laptop. We're getting, the review's gonna be coming out early next week on it and it'll be up to you. <clears throat> so it's 135 after the three subs we already got already. So you have six points. And then uh, that'll be that laptop plus uh, four one terabyte NVMe drives as well. So uh, it should be an epic night for giveaways. Plus we're giving away 7600X. 
and we're doing an absolutely epic build. So, if you, yeah, so and that's the thing, Eric, is it's, it's all about getting other people to join in. Uh, and then everybody, basically, you don't have to be subbed to enter to win. But if you do subscribe, you will be entered to win that beautiful uh, Spider-Man PC that's sitting right back there that was customized by Blue Horse Studios, as well as the Be Quiet uh, holiday PC that we're doing, and also that beautiful Twitch con the Twitch theme PC that we're going to be doing uh, with a uh, all white build that's going to be happening later on as well. So you guys can make, I mean, again, subbing is not a bad thing. You get lots of bonuses for just being subscribed to the channel, including extra entries towards giveaways. So that is that, but let's talk about, let's talk about what we are doing today. Let's talk about the build. Oh, and remember, if we get a level 10 hype train, we'll give away $100 cash. So level five, we give $25. Uh, if we give away a $25 new gift card, if we get 250 likes, and every 50 subs, we give away 100 bucks. I mean, every 50 subs, we give away $50. If we hit a level 10 hype train, we'll give away $100 cash. So, you guys, it could rain today, but it's all up to you guys. Okay, let's talk about parts list here, guys. Parts list that we got for today's show is we have a uh, AMD Ryzen 7 7700. This is a 4K targeted build. Um, it's not the 7700X, it's 4K7700. We've got the ASRock B650E Steel Legend Wi-Fi. For the graphics card, we're using the ASRock Tai Chi White Radeon RX 7900 XT. So we're gonna be showing both the 7800 and the 7900, these beautiful white cards from ASRock. I know people have been super interested in seeing it. We're gonna be showing the first one off tonight. Um, for the SSD, we've got the Patriot Viper VP4300 Lite, a four terabyte drive. For the RAM, we're using the VP Viper Elite 5 DDR5, 32 gigs at 6200 megahertz. For the case, we're using the Cooler Master Cube 500 flat, uh, 500 fat, flat pack in maroon. And then we've got the Deepcool AK500S Digital in white, and then the Cooler Master V850 SFX in gold. So that is what we got going on, guys. Squeaky Terror, thank you very much for the sub as well. He's trying to kick it off, guys. This is up to you, it's up to you. So anyway, yes, big yellow zip, they're not zip ties, they're like packing things. But I think the first thing we're gonna do to kick this whole thing off is we're gonna start building the case because this is how the case comes. So that's what we're gonna, we're gonna kick it up. It's macaroon and not cheese. Hey, thank you very much, Skep, Go, Skep Gecko. And I think somebody actually already uh, uh, moved their, uh, upgraded their sub as well. So it's happening. Here we go, guys, kicking it off. Well, actually, hold on, let me put this thing together real quick before we get into this, because I want to make sure if we need to get extra zoom stuff here, we can do that. You guys, uh, you guys always like to see the, the behind the scenes setup stuff. So this is our, like our, our mount for our small camera. And I might try some different cameras. I'm not a huge fan of the quality of the one that we have right now. So I might try some other ones, but here we go. So this one, it, like, see, it allows me to move it. And it also has like a bend to it as well. Oh yeah, see, and then this bends. So there, you can bend this too. And then you have a big base, a big old base. And it's got some mounts for it, which is cool. I just hope this fits the, it's better fit the webcam. That'll make me mad. Okay, oh, okay, so this goes in here like this. And there we go. Roby can build PCs, but he can't build camera mounts. It's too complicated, guys. Okay. There's no cable management, of course. Yeah, you no can't kidding. Do it. How's it going, Zeiston? Going good. How about yourself? Good. It looks like the insider's done, which uh, which is always fun. I feel like this is supposed to like get screwed in down here, but it, I don't see a screw. Oh. oh, here it is. I found the screw. Oh, it comes with a little tiny screwdriver. Look at this. Isn't that fancy? Little tiny screwdriver. This has nothing to do with the PC build. This is all about giving you guys a better viewership experience. Hey, so anyway, guys, still goal. We're going for it today. 140, if we get 140 sub points, that is very clear. I have to see it happen on the tool. If we hit it on the tool, we'll give away that Legion Go laptop. So that is, that, that is the goal. So that way we can make sure we're done and we don't have to worry about it. Igor dropping two gifted subs. Thank you very much, my man. Appreciate you. Okay, here's our camera thing here. I should probably not do this while it's plugged in because you have to rotate it all the way around. It's too complicated, guys. Okay, here we go. And now we have a stand that we can move around 
Wow, except for when I'm, I'm not doing this very well. Now we have a stand we can move around. So like we can move and bend and position it. So now we have a remote camera that's easy to move around and stuff. Okay, cool. Done, all set up guys. Now we can work on the case. See you later, Igor. We miss you. Make wise choices. We'll see you soon. Okay, guys. Camera setup done. What happened with Zeiston? Nothing. Oh, okay. Somebody Miss Builder Bear. Miss Builder Bear was questioning what her name was showing up as. Oh. Okay, guys, now let's open this bad boy up and not kill myself. Okay, let's, 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 uh, what, maybe that's, maybe that's the challenge. Will Roby kill himself when opening this package? Okay, first zip tie cut, even though it's not a zip tie, it's like a packing tie or whatever it is. Open it up, guys, working on it. Squeaky toy of terror. Dropping a gifted sub, thank you very much guys. Remember, that's still all, all subs unlock all sorts of giveaways. Now the ones that we need is people to convert, saying tier one, tier two, tier three. If you think about it, how many is, if, what's 140 divided by, oh, so 120 divided by six points, what's that? I can't do math right now. I'm too focused on not cutting myself. What'd you say, 140 by six? Yeah, what's 140 uh, by six? 23 and a third. So we need 23 tier three subs would like knock it out right away. Um, or what's 140 divided by three? That's uh, so it'd be just double, right? D double so that, yeah. Yeah, so like that's like 45. Now guys, we usually get, you know, 100 plus subs, gifted subs on a pretty consistent basis. So this is definitely within the realm of possibility. Ugh. Not making a, a terrible goal here. Thank you, Figment. You're amazing. I know you're happy with your PC. Okay, guys. Okay, now we got these. Okay, that comes off. We're slowly getting to the actual build. You want to switch that over to the other camera? Oh, I thought I... Oh, man, I don't even know what camera I'm on. Yeah, that's not even you're the right on, camera. Yeah, you're on top down, but at least you had picture in picture going. Oh, yeah, there we go. Sniper dropping a gifted sub. Now remember guys, gifted subs still go towards the overall goal, but they do not unlock the, uh, they do not go towards the goal we need. So we just need, we need 40 something people or 20 people or 140 people to just chime in and say, I'll, I'll do, I'll, I'll drop 21, but I'll drop seven bucks, you know? Okay, Ugh, got it. First part done. Success guys. Part one successful, plastic off. Guys, we're one thing away from a hype train. We just need one more person to drop a sub, drop some points, and we're in a hype train. 55 seconds. Ooh, ow. Just ran into the wall. That was good. You, I don't run into the wall like me, guys. And we've got a hype train started. Hype train started. Okay. We're already off to so much hype, guys. Okay, next stop. Now we actually get to open this PC. Ugh. So this is the flat pack. This is actually how it comes if you were to order it. You have to, it's like, it's like the IKEA of PC builds. We actually have to open this up and all that kind of jazz. Guys, we're at level two. J Jet B, Jet BG drop in, J, P wow, math, or er, speak. Uh, JTPG, <laughs> thank you very much, man. Dropping a tier one sub, guys. We are at level three. Remember, level five, $25 new A gift card opened. Level, if we get to level 10, 100 bucks, just cash, however you guys want to do it. Okay, you guys are seeing the whole cube built. And this is the special edition macaroon one. They have a number of different colors. Okay.
Okay, so it says, oh, it actually has like a step video. There's a video manual. Look at this. There's a video manual, start, and then mount the motherboard on the tray first, and then mount the PSU on the motherboard tray plus motherboard tray, and then it keeps going. Oh. And then these are all the different modes. And there, and the other thing too is there's a bunch of like, uh, there's already a ton of, um, there's already a ton of like 3D printed stuff you can get for this too. So this is like the cat blender test bench mode. You got the totally rad mode. That's kind of funny. The plug utilitarian. So like you can do it like with a, with a ton of different plugs. And then over here, it shows you the other suggestions. The air cooled classic, which is what we're doing. The fully liquid cooled. And then the Southpaw mirror mode, which is like upside down like mode as well. So anyway, okay. So first thing we need is this. And it's already got like, look, it's got the cable already kind of done into it already. So the power cable's already there. Here's the manual. Don't eat these. This is don't eat this, okay? That's, I'm sorry to well, use that, extend. Don't eat it. Then how am I supposed to know what it tastes like? Yeah, you're not. Numo, thank you for the, the tier one sub. Guys, level three, two minutes and 57 seconds left. You know what? I may not need to, hey, uh, looks like I may not need to use any fans. Uh, I thought it didn't come with fans, but it looks like it does, uh, Thomas. Oh, so, it looks like Tom's gonna be adjusting the build list. Well, I don't, you know, I, don't, I can't always be perfect. I try. Okay, that's the PSU thing right there. I don't, I think they want you to do an order because then, yes, it does. Okay, so guys, what is really cool is as you flat pack this, check it out. Oh, okay, I'm gonna get, oh, this is why I have the other camera. Check this out. All right, so as you flat pack this, I need to make sure I can see what you see. Okay, whoop, that did not go well at all, hold on. That's a great picture of my arm. There we go. So as you unflat pack it, watch this, watch. It's got the next set of instructions. So like you can actually see that now it wants you to do step three and step four. So this is, it's as you go down, it'll actually walk you through the steps. So we'll actually do it like you are. So we should stop at step one, which is where we're at right here. We're gonna do the mount the motherboard on the tray and then mount the PSU on the MOBO tray. So that's what step we are on right now, which is actually pretty cool. I like, I like how they're walking you through it. That's pretty neat, yeah. I think that's, I think that's a cool, cool little, little fun thing. Okay, so we're gonna pack this up and do step one, which is well, let's put their MOBO together and go from there. I might have to order one of these now just to play with it. Exactly. Oh, it's not light. Okay. Okay, so we have here, we also have normal instructions. So I'm gonna show, I'm gonna bring these up. And these are all the different ways to do it. So here's, it's up at the top. We'll go to the top down here. I'm trying to see, okay. So basic installation shows you the one, two, and then getting everything set up for it. It looks like you could do an ATX PSU, but we did an SFX just to make it smaller. Um, and then it's gonna show you how to start putting in the other parts, which is actually pretty rad. So, okay, well, this is the, there we go. We got the instructions. And then it has advanced installation. What is all the advanced, what, like, why is it advanced? Huh, I, all I know is I'm gonna stop up here on the left, start on the left. Okay, here we go. We don't need this. What we need is our MOBO and all the fun stuff to get this all built first. Ooh. Hey, okay guys, hey, what's up? Is the poets here? What's going on, man? Well, we got to level three, guys. I don't know how many points we're at, but we got to level three at least. Remember guys, laptop up for grabs if we get 140 sub points. So, and I think, how many points are we at right now? 13? We're at 13 points, guys. So we're seven points away from our first giveaway. Here we go. Let's open this up. Love this MOBO. 
and we're showing off some new ones here on the show. There is a photo in front on the... Hey, build bear thank you very much for the sub. There is a photo in front on the side of the box too, Roby Tech. Oh yeah, showing all of the parts all stacked up. That's kind of cool. Yeah, there's all... Dude, this, they did a really good job with the packaging. Huge shout out to Cooler Master for uh, making such a cool case. Okay. Okay, so here's our MOBO. Well, Zyson, what do you think in uh, loudness today? Uh, 96. 96, guys, 96. I'm having a brutal time here with this bag. There we go. Oh, I guess I want to leave this kind of open for extra parts. Okay. There is our board. Let's grab our MOBO, CPU, cooler, RAM. Okay, here we go, guys. Starting off with our CPU. Here we go. Nice clear view of it. There we go. Been low last two streams, but I'm gonna believe still. What do you mean, Ed? Low in what way? Ram clicks. Uh, yeah, Ram 96. clicks 96, yeah. Zeiston already did the call. Oh, the Ram clicks, yeah, they have been actually kind of low. It's called, why is this Halloween song still on the playlist? But it is, so hopefully they take it out here pretty soon. It's Christmas time, guys. Who's listening to Christmas music already? Definitely not me. <laughs> Oh okay, yeah, there we go. See how this goes. I know this. This never. These, these never really pop all that far. There you go. Okay, there we go. Okay, uh, let's do our NVMe drive real quick. Oh really? Oh dude, Trans Siberian. I bet you that's actually a pretty cool concert. Okay, four terabyte NVMe drive. Should be like plenty of storage for what you need. I know we always get somebody who's like, it's too soon. Dude, Mariah's been thought out. Not I don't in, not PC until guy. after Thanksgiving. Oh, okay, here we go. First up, there's our four terabyte drive. I don't know, I think Starbucks is pretty good. I don't think I'd get sick of the Starbucks playlist. I don't know, but I don't work at a Starbucks. I guess I'd have to work at Starbucks to find out if I need to do that. Nice ghost him in. There's that's a man right there. Oh yeah, there we go. It's in. And prediction is done, so you're free to go whenever you're ready. Okay, let's grab our click click sounder. Click clickety clickety click clicker. The clickety clack at a clack.
Yeah, the Ryzen 7 is a nice CPU. Ah, uh, Darth Nocknar, thank you very much, man, dude. That's those are the classic days. Guys, I had a moment. Okay, so guys, can we just celebrate some triumph here real quick? Yesterday, yesterday on the Intel Morning Show, which was in the afternoon. I don't know. It's gonna get a new name. We think after it's, it, we're getting through the going through the analytics and stuff. But um, yesterday, we started playing Civ Six. And in that Civ 6, there was a challenge that has to be happened. It's a monthly challenge that you have to, during the Age of Abundance, you have to win a cultural victory using the Greeks, okay? If you've never played Civ 6, this is total nonsense to you, but here's the question. I mean, here's what things, basically the question was asked to the community, of which some of you were there. They said, who is gonna get it first? Will it be Roby or will it be Alex? And I thought for sure, no problem, that I would totally be the one who would get the most votes. It would, like, no contest. Guys, it tied. It tied. And you know what I did? I stayed up till 4 a.m. and I got that challenge first. So booyah, Alex. I got it first. I got the badge. I've got the, I'm on the, bo I'm on the leaderboard. And you guys who doubted me, shame on you. Shame on you. Because I did it, guys. I played for eight hours, eight and a half hours, and got it knocked out. So there you go. And it was fun, man. I haven't, dude, I love Civ. Civ is such a good game. I don't know if anybody else plays Civ 6, but I'm just saying, don't doubt me, guys. I grind, I grinded it out. The Poets is gonna be teaching me how to play Star Citizen too. So I have like $3,600 in ships that I've never used. All right, here we go. <clears throat> Thank you for not doubting me, Hidden Attribute. Okay, here we go, guys. 96 is the is the goal. Dude, I played Civ on DOS, and then I played it, I played Civ 2 a ton and Civ Rev. Now the question is, is will this be 96? I feel I feel like it's gonna be way higher. 97.8, guys. Already crushed it. No problem. That was easy. 97.3. Okay, so both of them cleared. Done. Can we just get it? Can we just get a yes? Because it was done, guys. So Darth Knock Gognar, that's not three. So we're at 16 points. So we are at, guys, we need six points. One tier three sub would get us that the first Kingston giveaway. Okay, so that's ready to go. Now we need to get, I'm so excited about this cooler. Did I did I tell you guys this? This is, I. so the last time you and I, Zeist and we were together, we used this, we used the black version of this cooler. This is the white one. And it's, it looks super clean. It does, it does not taste clean at all. Oh, I need some water. Whew. So don't, don't lick a box that came from the mail. <laughs> just let you know <laughs> not not so tasty uh, but anyway it looks clean just doesn't taste clean yeah so uh anyway there we go here we go opening it up Ooh, that looks good guys that looks good okay this looks good Ugh. oh you have this one in your case dude can i can we just see like look at how just look how clean this looks, guys. Oh, look at that. I mean, dude, that is gonna look, that is gonna look so good in the build. Yeah, yeah, I'm happy, I'm happy. Good choice, Roby. Uh, it really depends. Uh, Kobe, fan cooling is, e is, uh, is easier to uh, install. Simpler. That's why I did fan cooling or air cooling on this build in specifically in specifically because I knew I also had to build the case. So I wanted to kind of make sure that we still did a good job and we're starting a little bit later. Yeah, exactly, Sarge. I agree. All right, here we go. So here's all the components that we need. First thing we're going to do, we're going to look at the instructions. Because I install too many coolers to, to just pretend like I know every time. 
Okay, so we're looking at AM5 here. This is LGA1700, LGA1700, AM5. Okay, right, so this uses the big blocks, okay. This is, I, I, thought, I, I thought I was right. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, remove the top here. And then move on to the next step. Okay, here we go. Did you like that? That was like, that was like screw pizzazz right there. Okay, unscrewing those. Hey, what's up, Pig Radio? I'm kind of surprised you didn't get the digital version. I do, it is a digital version. So are you not surprised anymore? That is expected. <laughs> is that you? Are you like, you're like, and everything is right with the world again, Roby. Yeah, I did get the digital version. Yeah, we're on tonight because we have we we have a lot of the stream. Uh, not there's only like there's only three streams left uh, for this year uh, for this yeah for this month. Hey, Silent J, 1980, dropping another tier one sub, guys. Five points away, and we're coming up on we only we're at now less than a hundred. Should be less than a hundred sub points. Remember, and if we get more, 100, 100 points, then we will, uh, we will uh, basically uh, give away a laptop. The radiator is offset to avoid the RAM. Oh, okay. Yeah, I've done that. We've done this. The, we've done the black version of this. Recently. Yeah, recently on one of my favorite builds. Oh, look at that. I like it when a good plan comes together. Smooth, buttery, tasty. Ah, 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 ah. Not tasty. We don't, go, we, don't, we don't go that far. Okay, smooth, buttery, but not safe to eat thermal paste. <laughs> Ooh, that looks <laughs> good. <laughs> Well, let's hope we unlock it, guys. Remember, we got a ways to go, but there are, you guys are stepping up so far. It is worse than Vegemite, dude. And remember, does anybody remember that? Did anybody watch that episode of um, the at EVGA where they made me eat expired Vegemite? Oh, yep. That was so bad. That was like the worst. Yeah, sorry, expired Marmite. That's right, it was Marmite. Oh, it was so brutal. It was gross. Hey, what's up, Pastor Dame? Okay. Yeah, it was not it was not fun. Not fun at all. And not I fun, feel, but funny. Oh yeah, it wasn't yeah, there that is true. It was funny. It was I agree. I agree with that. Okay. That is done. Next up, guys. You got to put on some orange orange stuff on the top down here. Oh, nice. What case are you moving into? Or are you doing stuff for your sister? Okay, here we go, guys. Putting some orange things on this that are cool because they, they stay down. Oops. PC guy, in instead of it being a 10, it's a 10.5. No. The 14, I, I mean, the 4, the the 4070 will help the 14900K, but I mean, no, it won't bottleneck. What was that cleaner thing? What cleaner thing? You mean the thing I used? It was a, it was a paper towel and uh, isopropyl. It was an isopropyl alcohol dispenser that uh, my, my our uh, tech guy Kevin, our tech uh, tech lead Kevin found, and I like really like it because it just makes it easy to dispense dispense the liquid. Okay, right. that was correct. Which direction?
screws. Why did they do this? It essentially just makes it square like the Intel. It's like the, it's like, this is like the LGA version, like the new Asetek mount for, uh, for um, AIOs now. Where it's like, you know what, we're just gonna make it an Intel square. They did it specifically to see if people actually read the instructions. Yep, that's what they did it for. It seems really long for this. Nope, I was wrong, it's the right length. I read the instructions. I'm down to. Who's gonna do the, who's gonna give us our tier three? Start getting our, we got, we can't slow down. We got, we got a lot of sub points still to get guys. It's a subathon today, unlocking a laptop giveaway. We're already almost, what? We're almost a quarter done already. Pig Radio is a legend, dude. That is totally true. Pig, we're gonna have to get some holiday stuff going, buddy. And you can charge me, you know that, right? I don't, I don't, you don't, I don't expect you to do it for free. I mean, within reason, don't make me sad, dude. It's like, it's $10 million. I'll be like, no, I love this song. But my before family you needs to eat. Before you send the bill pig radio, look up prevailing wage. Yeah, I think the prevailing wage is $20. No, it's <laughs> Or we can do some giveaways or some hardware or something. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Let me know. We re write me. I don't always. I don't. I never expect somebody to do it. Like I'm not one of those people. It's like I pay you an exposure. It's like that's terrible. Can't feed your family with exposure. Speaking of feed your family. There you go. Feed your family. Okay, guys. Working on the digital. Working on all. Getting all this stuff out. Okay. Okay, so we want to do this this way for sure. Exactly, Pastor Dame. Quoting Popeye. Uh, worst. Oh, I hate it when the, I hate zip ties. It, like. This zip tie, obviously, it's like, it's like. Oh, there you go. I got it. I got it apart, I think. No, nope, maybe not. Come on, twisty tie. You can do it. No, nope, this twisty tie is forever ruined. Okay. I tried to save you. Robitech, the destroyer of zip ties. This is a twisty tie this time, but yes. Sometimes you know how like they they, they seem like they're forever stuck and then they strip. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So this one looks like it, that's what it seems like this one did this time. So we rip on the uh, rip on the old uh, twisty tie there. Okay, guys. Okay, we got it off. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this, scroll it, scoot it over a little bit. So we're gonna take off our fan. There's two little, there's two little bars here. Kind of lift them out. Just come out like that. That was really stuck on there. Okay, that takes out our fan. And what we're gonna do is pop that down. Make sure there's no peel, which I've already peeled it. Start screwing it down. And then you're just gonna screw it until it stops. Just alternating left and right, keep pressure even. <laughs> Attack of the Cast wants to know, can we still sing the AIO song? I like that song. We could, dude, we could sing it. It's just, it's still an all-in-one cooler. 
Justin Roby had a show, A-I-A-I-O. And on his show, he builds PCs, A-I-A-I-O. I don't, with a dad joke here and a zip tie there, RGB, RGB, and Blondie, but geeky. Hey, I, hey, Justin Roby had a show, A-I-A-I-O. I actually remembered the words. I did it. <clears throat> Just saying, good job. Hey, that is like, that is you guys. Between that and rocking it, uh, rocking it and uh, doing the, uh, getting that, that Civ challenge and being on like four hours of sleep today, I'm having a pretty good day. Got to see my daughter on the sh on show, on stage. It's a, it's a good day, guys, it's a good day. Okay, um, trying to think if we're gonna have a ton of RGB here. So one of the things we will wanna do for sure, so we have our USB, so we're gonna probably run these back and down. I don't know how this is gonna, I mean, I don't know. Never built in this case. But we can take this and remove this gnarly sticker here. I'm gonna zoom out a little bit. Uh, so G skill, uh, G skill Kobe or uh, Kingston or Patriot are fine. And 6,000 megahertz is a, usually a really good choice. Because it's usually the safest in terms of most, it, you won't have any issues. Usually going above, sometimes you can find problems. So 6,000 megahertz, DDR5, um, uh, Kingston, G Skill, or Patriot are kind of my favorite. Because they're also the ones that are the easiest in terms of uh, in terms of working with MOBOs and stuff too. Uh, and Kurosaki, that clear plastic tabs, just the appeal for the display. Yeah, I, I don't. I usually don't take it off till everything's all mounted, just to keep it from smudging. I'm not. Don't want no smudging. No smudging. Okay. Okay. So the rest of this, we don't know where it goes yet. So we'll figure that out. Afterwards. Okay, first zip tie, guys. Time to get your guesses in. Zip, zip tie, tie man, zip, zip tie, tie man. Guess the count, count of them if you can. can. Even sauce, who can know? Make your wager on every, every show. show. Hey now, Roby's the zip tie, tie man. man. There we go, guys. Make your wager odd or even. Guess is going up right now, uh, and you can make the prediction. So. It's odd or even. We don't make you guess exactly how many zip ties because it is literally all over the place. And then I, uh, so yeah, you can, but you can guess if I'm gonna use an odd or even amount. Um, and then, so that means you have a 50-50 chance. And what do you win? Joy. And bragging rights. What are you gonna, what are you gonna choose today? Do you have a, do you have an option? Oh, you don't like to tell us, do you, Zeisten? No, well, I got no problem telling once I make up my mind. Ah, he hasn't made up his mind yet. I'm waiting to see what the odds are. Oh, he's gonna go for whatever gets him the best payout. Maybe, maybe. Okay. Ch chances are it will be odds, though. Dude, it has been odd consistently. Uh, so even is a lot. is due for a due for a hit. I think the last time even hit was the last time I voted even. But it was like, it, but it was even for like three days and three streams in a row as well. Yep. Okay, guys. So all the peels and stuff are done. Let's zoom out a little bit more. We're gonna get this on the mobo tray. So it's already set up for ATX. There's our mobo tray. Pretty easy to be able to get to everything, I'll tell you that. Okay, all of our screws and stuff are right here. This thing has quite a few, there's your standoffs. 
Guys, if they did some, this could be really cool. Dude, such a smart idea. All of the screws are uniform. There's only one type of screw, Zeistin. Okay, that's nice. That's pretty cool, actually. Uh, John the Papaya, the case you build as you go, and it's meant for the PSU to go there, so they included the PSU cable there, so you don't mess that step up. It's like, an, it's, it's very, if you've not built in small form factor PCs, that may be unfamiliar to you, but in small form factor PCs, you'll see this cable like this all the time. Oh, right, here we go, guys. Yeah, we're gonna build the case around. It comes flat packed. Flat pack. Flat pack. Come on, guys. Let's get. Let's get this. Let's get. Uh, remember, the moment we hit this next, the next tier. We immediately give away an NVMe drive. So let's go, can somebody just drop a tier two, a tier three sub? And then uh, we'll be close to basically giving that first, uh, that first uh, thing away. First NVMe drive away. We gotta get a hundred, we still need 90 something points today. Oh, they actually gave you the support one. Hmm. Let's go ahead and put it in. Hey, this new thank you very much. And remember, guys, up for today, up for grabs, if we get enough sub points, is a laptop. But we're already giving away a we're already giving away a seventy six hundred X today, no matter what. Oh, one more up here. Okay, here we go. Let me get this out of the way real quick. I'm gonna go ahead and put a uh, standoff right there. Yeah, that's, you are absolutely right, Squeaky. Oh, whoa. Oh, I'm so, I was like, wait a minute, that doesn't seem right. That's because it goes right here. Now, not all motherboards have that standoff, so it's it's actually only certain ones do. And I like to, if if it's you know if we can and it comes with it, just it's just extra support for the Mobo in this case. So now we got the other screw, and we can keep going here. There we go. Get this. Man, this these screws are very nice. Very nice. Easy to get in. I like. Oops. Just hit the hit the uh, cooler. 300 people here already, guys. It is a pretty rare screw, screw hole. Yes, I don't see it on all, a lot of. In fact, I'm starting to see less screw holes on Mobos. Like the NZXT only has them on the outside. The uh, N7s, they don't even have the middle ones. Not that you need them, I don't think. I don't know if it's really necessary. But if they can add it, if they added it, I'm gonna put, I'm gonna pop it in. Okay, two more here. And all our screws will be done. I'm sure we actually have more screws. I, now that I think about it, we're gonna have to do screws for like the PSU and all that sort of stuff too. Okay, so there we go. I don't know what what of these we need. So I'm like just gonna put them over here because I don't I don't know what we'll actually need here. Some of this might be like the pegging for putting like you know IKEA stuff. So just kind of keep it out for now, I guess. 
Hey, at least the instructions looked a little more fluid. When was the last time you put something together from Ikea? Oh, dude, brutal. Brutal. Okay, next up, guys. We've done the motherboard tray. Now this is telling me put this thing on here. When you have your high, medium, low. And then it's telling you to put your, oh, and then we're gonna put our, our GP part on, okay. I don't even know, I don't even know if we need to do an SFX then. So this, so ATX and SFX and SFXL, that's what you can do in here. We're gonna use a V850 SFX Gold. Pop this over. Why not? It's just gonna be smaller. Look at it, it's so cute. So cute. So small. So small. So I'm a little, I, the one thing I'm a little worried about is like how visible the cables and stuff are gonna be. So I don't wanna, I don't wanna make the case look ugly, you know? We only like pretty builds, pretty builds. Wow, that is so small. It doesn't even take all of the screws. It only takes like three. There we go. Hey, Paul the guy dropping a gifted sub. Thank you very much for that. Paul the IT guy. Thank you, sir. All right, so there's that. What actually wanted me to use the same screws. That's funny. I'm gonna use the ones that are in the thing though. It says you can actually use the screws that they provided for this too. Like you don't even have to use the PSU screws. They're like, use our screws. No, I will not listen to you, you crazies. Oops. Uh, Casey, I, I, do, I don't have, I haven't built in it enough yet to formulate an opinion yet. Okay, so this, it's gonna go right here. And then this slides in. So, I mean, we can make it as high. So it's just basically on the side here. I have to I'm gonna have to lower this and give you guys a little bit of a better view. Okay, so right here, you have a you have three different sizes. You can go here, you can go all the way down to like down here if you want to. I'm gonna go ahead and go up. Just well, actually, I think I'm gonna go right here. Feels like that's gonna be better. As you're sitting here picturing your cable management in your head. Yeah, but I don't I don't know, right? Like it's weird. Like I don't know how much of this how much of this is gonna be visible. There's is there a diagram on the box that you could see kind of? Let me look, let me look at the, yeah, let me see if I can see some fine, like look on the, look on the old website. Let's look on the old website, guys. Let's look on the old website. I sound like that Yosemite Sam. QB. Q. 
cube find hundred. Okay, here we go. It's taking a long time to load, guys. So you can do ATX PSU. So yeah, you are gonna see some of the cables on the front. Hmm. And I don't think there's a way to, there's no way to run them to the back. So like what you're, what you're gonna show is what you're gonna have, you know what I mean? Pick your placement carefully. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if, yeah, it's almost like, and the other thing too is I need to see, I, I, I need to verify that I can actually get the, I can get the, like how long the cables, if the cables are gonna work, right? Or if we need to switch. Okay, so here's the CPU one. I feel like to do this case correctly, it's like, you, yeah, we got plenty of, so there's plenty of length, okay. So in order to do this case correctly, you kind of need to do, you kind of need to do cable, I mean, you're not gonna be able to really do cable extensions. No, it's almost custom cables. It's all cut, yeah, you're gonna have to do like custom cables or like cable mod, like the sleeved ones. Because you're, you're just, it's gonna show your cables because everything's like right there. Which luckily these are white cables, so it won't be as bad. But a little bit of a little bit of learning here. Okay, let's go to side here. That did not stop that. Oh. <laughs> I was like. I like put I put a screw in there. I was like, wait, how's that supposed to stop it? Oh, it's I put it in the wrong place. The screw goes right here. Okay, so that locks it in. So now what I can do is run our cables here. So first thing we're gonna do is our PSU. I mean our or our uh, CPU. I think I might be able to run it up like this, you know what I mean? So it's, it's a little bit cleaner. It feels a little bit better. Sorry, you guys can't see, let me move it over. So I ran it underneath like the top of the Mobo tray here. Be able to hide that up like that, you know? So you still can't see it, but it's still taut. Okay, so that takes care of that one. We'll make it look pretty once we get to the final part of it here. Looks better in that box, what do you mean? It's going pretty good, Beard. I'm just figuring out this new case and like how to make it look good. I mean, luckily the cables themselves are actually pretty nice.
Yeah, I'm, I'm really glad that you went with a white PSU with white cables for this. Yeah, I don't think if I would have done anything else. It's not going to be as showcasey as like if I was doing like cable extensions. I guess what I could do is like try, but I just I'm I'm a little bit fearful that cable extensions are almost going to make it look worse. Well, yeah, and you you still don't know how the case is going to go together, so yeah. adding in extra mass might not be a good idea. We can kind of figure it out as we get it built. Okay, so we got all of the things here. Let's flip it around here. So these are, this has to run down. Are there holes down at the bottom? Yeah, there are, okay. Okay, this is where we get to use our cool new thing to hopefully make this a little bit better here. The printed manual isn't on the website, but it appears you might have at least an inch for room on the back for cable management. Yeah, I'm looking at that now. And the pre... So we're just running this through. So you actually have, like you do have, like looking at the back here, you actually have quite a bit of, like here's just the, the back area. Wow, I didn't even put, like what hole was I aiming here for guys? Like, I don't even know how I thought that was like the place to put it. There we go. So that takes care of that. So you've actually got like the top room and then you've actually look, if you look back here, you've actually got tie down spots and all that stuff as well. So I mean like, you know, looking at it from the side here, you can actually see there's actually quite a bit of room back here. So I wonder if I could actually, I, I guess what I could do is run all of the GPU stuff. I think what I could do is run all of the ones here and then run all of the cable extensions back here. I feel like that's gonna be the better option here. So I don't think you run them. I think we just run them and have them be back here so they look nice and clean coming through here and then hook them up back here. I think that's gonna be the thing. I think that's gonna be the play. So you end up with something that looks prettier. You still have all your slots for stuff. So we have like a nice little clump that kind of comes back here. Like that. So then these will these all look like they're clean and coming back. And I think what we do is we actually run this, I think we actually run it even lower. So then we end up with like a nice little clump coming out of the bottom. Okay, I, I feel like I'm starting to get an idea of how this is supposed to work. Okay. So it is, it will be like a regular case and we're all said and done. We just have this interesting scenario with these, with this uh, bracket here. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm actually gonna go and put this at the lowest slot. So we just have very few, little bit of showing. Just like that. And then we'll run this. That's hidden or whatever it was. We'll figure that out. All right, cool. All right, so we're good. Okay, now it's saying next step is to install the rear panel. Okay, so which is probably inside the box back here. So 
let's grab our box. Which we have like a mess of here. I'm gonna do. I just don't want to lose screws, you know? Okay, here we go, box. Okay, you definitely want to run it this way. Okay, so we are on to the next part of this whole thing. I'm going to Roman here. So open this up. So we've done that one. So now we're on to tier the next tier. So which is there's the rear panel right there. So we have a rear panel and our front panel. So mount, rear panel, and GPU. Okay, so this is the rear panel, obviously. I was like, I was like, mm. so showing you guys what I'm seeing here. See how it said, I was like, it says front panel, but this is not the front panel, this is the rear panel, and then rear panel is here. But this is definitely not the rear panel, that's a front panel. So we'll take out the rear panel one now. So this would be tier two, hint, hint, nudge, nudge. Yeah. Uh, nice, I like it. Oh, wait, this is green. I thought it was supposed to be pink. Okay, it's green. Okay, good. I guess we got... It's... Uh, the case is two-tone. Oh, that's right, okay. Like okay. a macaroon, which I have a bunch in my refrigerator right now, by the way. Oh, well, thank you. My oh, roommate uh, makes them from scratch. Are you... Uh, wh did you ship some over, or, like, what's his... No, 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 absolutely not. Oh, okay, I see how it is. Like I said, my roommate makes them from scratch, and they are really good. Okay, so we've got tier. We've done. Oh, we got Rid. We got Riddick with his uh, 10, 10 drop gifted subs. There's our ten gifted subs. Riddick dropping it. Guys, still need one person to, to step up with tier three or tier one. We haven't gotten any point. Like we're we're still stuck at thirteen points of the one forty we need. Oh okay, yeah, here we go. And there's our rear fan right there. Already mounted even. Well, that's nice. Okay, so that's like, guys, that went on, that just like popped on very easily. Like not even, that wasn't even hard. It just like popped right on. Like it just slides right in. And it goes over if you look right here, you can actually see, it actually just, look, it just like goes right over this like little part right here. So it just goes right over it, no problem. So it just slides right on top of that and it just goes right in. So that, and then it just fits nicely. That's actually really awesome. It makes it really easy to basically just get it in and get it set up. Okay, so we got that now. Now we're gonna do, I'm just gonna put our, gonna go ahead and screw in our little screws here. So we grab our four screws. So it says that we just need to put in screws, I think, in these spots. Then that holds it in. There we go, just like that.
Andrew, it's okay. If you guys can, it's okay. I'm just saying, like, I got it. That's we're, we're doing it to incentivize people to do the subs. But, dude, do not feel bad if you cannot. You are allowed to just enjoy the show, too. Okay, there we go. So there's our three screws, right? So we got those in. So that's all set up. This is saying there's four screws. Oh, ha ha ha! See, this is why we look at the instructions, guys. There's one more screw. It's over here by the, uh, it's over here by the power supply. There it is right there. Okay, now we have all of our screws in. And they're marked with like little X's, so you know that they're actually the right ones. But even with that little X, I didn't even notice it. So, okay, so there is our rear panel now. So it looks like, guys, it's still, like even if you look at the side here, it still looks like we're just gonna run cables normally. There's still like, it's like what Org was saying, there's about an inch of, there's still an inch of cable management room still in the back, so we can still run them normally. We just have to be a little creative with how they front looks. Riddick, thank you very much for the gifted subs, my man. Luckily, it looks like we're, gonna, we're still gonna be able to, hopefully, be able to uh, daisy chain all of our fans together. Oh, whoa, whoa, we have, we have a wild bot in the voice chat. Where is that? Where? Tom joined us. Oh, Tom, he's, I thought he was here. He was here earlier. I wasn't in the chat. Like, I wasn't talking. Oh, you're talking. in the, you're like talking. Oh, I was. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know, he, he's in the voice chat. Oh, he's in the voice chat. Oh, that, that is like new. I don't even know what to do with ourselves right now. Okay, so here we go. So we're gonna pull that through the back here. I hope we'll be able to, we should be able, to, this looks like it, it's long enough that we'll still be able to um, daisy chain them. Okay, so that's good. Put this here for now. Starting to route cables. It's a little bit different than what we're used to, but so far, case is not bad. Ooh, there, ooh, guys, in the top here, in the top here, check it out up here. They actually have a place to like run and trap the fan cable. That's nice. It's usually something I only see on NZXT cases, but makes it easier to route and hold the fans back there. So thank you. And you can just kind of clamp it down a little. You guys like this new camera that we keep running? I'm gonna see if I can find something higher end, but is it helping to give you guys the additional angles to see stuff? It does quite a bit. Okay, so here we go, there's that. Okay, so now we have all that stuff in. Okay, now it's telling me, because I'm gonna follow the instructions according to what they sent. They're saying, put in the GPU. So go ahead and put it in. That just seems so wrong. It does, it's not the order I normally do stuff in, but we are going to do it. Guys, who's excited? You guys have been asking, I'm, I'm sad BMOC's not here. Because you guys have been asking, Roby, when are we going to do an all white, like have the white high end 7900 XTs and the 7800 XTXs? And here it is, right here, guys. Our, this is uh, Roby following its turd dog. I, I follow the instructions. So here we go, right here, guys. The beautiful brand new Tai Chi from Azrock. That's a good looking card. Yeah, it is a good looking card. I'm excited to see this. I think I may text him and make fun of him. You can text him. He may not answer. All right, taking a drink. Yeah, the box looks clean, too. Okay, let's go to top down. You guys ready? I did. I intentionally am unboxing this, so I hope it works. I have already benched the system, but I have not used this GPU. I wanted you guys to get the fresh... The fresh, in, the fresh open box experience. Okay, so you get this, you get a graphics card in this, and then there it is right there. And it comes with 
Looks like it's got sag bracket stuff. Interesting. I'm gonna actually look at, see what they, this, this, this extra material is that they gave us. Oh, it comes with a postcard. literally has no instructions as to what this thing is. It's just all the language on how to sweat. So no idea what this little extra stuff is. There's this QR code though. So let's scan the QR code. Here's my phone. Let's find out what this QR code is. It took me to nothing. Literally QR'd it and it said, I have no idea what this is. <laughs> yeah, 850 watts is fine for this card. For a 7900 XT. X. Oh. Yeah, I'm, if I remember right, 800 watts AMD's minimum. Yeah. And 850 is 4090, actually. Yeah. Okay, here we go, guys. Open it up. I have no idea what this thing is. Like, what? I, I'm assuming it's a cyber. You guys ready? Oh, it already looks so pretty. Oh, look at that. That card is. Okay, so it's got gold accents on it, which I didn't know. The RGB goes what? around it, right? But still, we'll be seeing it this way, which actually looks really, really good. So, triple, uh, triple PCI. Uh, e connection, so all the power it could want. The gold makes sense since it matches the Tai Chi boards. Yeah, yeah. The board we were we are actually the the original build for this. We were supposed to use the um, the Steel Legend 7800 XTX. That's what was supposed a 7800 XT. Um, and uh, we opened the box um, from Newegg, and the GPU was not in it. Like the G this GPU was in there, the both motherboards were in there, but the actual 7800X was not in there. So we had to write uh, Newegg and be like, hey, you forgot to actually put the GPU in the box. So at some point in time, we will use that one too. Which, I mean, they, their customer service is pretty good. It's, it's only, you know, we get literally hundreds and hundreds of packages from them and it's only happened twice that that's ever been an issue. Okay, there we go. Let's do the peels, guys. We're gonna follow this, in, we're gonna do this in the order that they said to do it. They're saying do the GPU now, ladies and gentlemen, so we will do it now. Well, it's almost got like a pearl finish to it, guys. Ooh, that's pretty. There we go. Tom, it's nice of you to join us. You know, I uh, I figured might as well. Got Don't have too much going on right now, so. That's always a good let's thing. Let's say hello to everybody. Everybody say hi to Tom. By the way, that deal, the deal that Tom found, ROG Ally, $460. It's on there tonight too it's dude it is heck of a deal on that G, on that on that uh handheld okay we got one more peel guys look at that hello everyone oh there it is beautiful card okay Okay, as per the instructions, guys, putting this inside the build now. Literally the same screws, even for this uh, Zeiston. All the screws, every screw in this is the exact same. That's actually it's really weird. Neat. It's just weird. But it's nice. It is nice. It's incredibly nice, but it's weird. Guys, this is the philosophy of infinite potential. 
Sorry, the weird things they put on stuff sometimes. It's like, okay. Why are you struggling here? Oh, oh. This stupid. There we go. The tabs on the outputs. Yeah, the little tabs on the outputs were blocking it. There we go, guys. That like matches perfectly. Yeah, it's almost the same shade of white, which is I know, which is super odd, right? Like it even it's got like a little bit of yellowing <laughs> like the deep cool, but it still has it there too. So it actually almost matches like weirdly well. Hmm. Cool. Like okay. even the spot where it says Tai Chi that's kind of gray matches the matches the top of the cooler. Yeah, it's 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 like it's like we planned this. It's a, it's a chunky card, though. You could put a fan on the front of the case, but not with that GPU in the system. No. That's why we did an air cool system. Yeah. Yeah, this one goes all the way. This one, this one, this one takes the whole, this one takes the whole cake. Okay, guys, that is the next step. So we are now, step two of the PC case is in. You might be now able to fit a slim fan in there. Now it says install the front panel. Yeah, you could potentially. There's front. there's 20 millimeters of room. That GPU is 345. It's 365 max on the case. It's very similar to an NR200P, so you could also do the reverse intake method too. It's kind of funny. I'm reading this instruction and it says, it says install, I'm gonna show you, it's just funny. I, oh, versus not, not sharing it with everybody. It says install front panel, which is what we're doing right now. Then it says install bottom panel. And then it says perfect cable management. That's literally what the instructions say. Perfect cable management. <laughs> did, did, you, did you pay them to put that in there? I, apparently they were like perfect cable management. Do perfect cable management. Here we go guys, side view. This actually goes together very well. Like it just, it's, I'm actually really surprised at how straightforward this whole thing has been so far. Cooler master, you did good so far. So far. I haven't done thermals or anything yet, but. Come on, as long as it looks good, do thermals really matter? Yes. I just ask our, com <laughs> ask our community. I can't say any, I can't, I can't say no. They didn't say remove this. Oh, you can't do it then. Yeah, I know. This is, this is, what do I do? I give up. Okay, so there's the front. There's the next step. And then I have to do perfect cable management after I do this. I'm actually just really impressed with every screw is the same screw. About time. Okay, so we're gonna put them in the same spot. This is actually fun. It's like, it's actually more Lego-y than build normally are. I think what I've actually been the most impressed with thus far is the fact that even though it's flat packed, it doesn't seem you've had a single bent tab or alignment joint. No, it's just really gone together really well. And honestly, it was funny because we were talking about, oh, you know what? And what are we going to do with this case? Because like, when you think about the thermal take ones that come like this, this one could very easily, it's very easy to put it back in a box. Yeah, everything's got its, its own it's spot, spot in the yeah. box. It's all kind of labeled just by the pictures. Yeah, it really is very straightforward to put back together. Oh, looks like we found our like first alignment issue here oh i spoke too soon oh never mind i just wasn't doing it right okay right, went together very okay, easily okay okay there it is sounds like a roby issue it was 
User error. Okay, guys, so build, this is where we are right now. We've kind of got things, there's definitely gonna have to be some routing and stuff that I'm gonna have to do. But like, it is interesting, right, that you're, you know, in, you're, you're used to this being somewhere else, right? But we have, just have this really small SFF power supply. So it's an S, sorry, SFX. What we're gonna do is we're literally just gonna run the cables into the back and then down, and then we'll add the extensions and then the extensions will connect everything in. But this will still look very clean, like there is no extensions is, the, is what I decided I'm going to do for this. Um, but yeah, we're gonna, really? once we get it kind of built, then, it, then it's just like a regular case. I just put it all together, so. Seeing all of that there, I'm really glad that you didn't decide to change that to an ATX, even yeah. though it fits. Well, I mean, you can you can actually, so I have this mounted at the lowest part, so you can actually mount it way up, but I just think this is gonna look, this is just gonna look better as a, uh, in, this, in this case. Yeah. Okay, so now we're gonna do, we're gonna get the box. You guys get to continue the unboxing experience. Okay, make sure I had the right way. Let's get our neat little roaming camera out here. Hey Tom, can you find out like what the best like best quality webcam is? <laughs> I was literally doing that on oh. Amazon right now. I was like, I was like, <laughs> it's just. I mean, it's like it's not that I mind, and it needs to have a light. Cause that's the lights okay. actually I think is gonna be important. So that's why I got sure. this one, but I, I the, the the quality isn't my favorite. Which, what what brand is that? It's like next something, next whatever. Starts with an okay. N. Yep, I'm on it. All right, there we go. Okay, so bottom panel is right here and then top panel is the next two. So there we go, we got our, we're gonna grab our bottom panel. There's still a lot in this case. So I'm trying to understand what else is in here top panel, and then the bottom panel. Well, that's the Nexi Go, isn't it? Yeah, that's it. Which yeah. actually was pretty well rated, but I was like, I just, they were like, great quality. I'm like, mm, I don't know what you guys determine as great quality. So that's the side um, panel. Do you have a Razer Kyo? I don't. Well, I mean, but that if that one's good, then I'll do that. I have uh, the old Razer Kyo and it was pretty good. It's got a light on it and everything, um, but they've got some new ones out there now too. Okay. I'll send you links. Cool. Hey Tom, hey Tom can you drop a link to the um, the st the uh, camera stand that Roby's got there? there if you, you have it, I'll send it to you. It's it was it, it was like an interesting find. I like this camera stand though. Yeah, Twitch yeah, cat's the, asking. It's so. the other side panel, yeah. Okay. It's like K, it's like K, I'll, here, I'll, I'll, I'll send it, I'll put it in the, I'll find it real quick and send it to you, Tom, in Teams. <laughs> sure. Um, there you go. Okay. Thank you. So we've got that now. Now we're going to grab our bottom panel here. And it's actually got a nice magnetic dust filter. Very good magnet, by the way. Okay, so this goes down here. I love when they're nice enough to put magnets on all four sides. Okay, so, so so just so you guys know, let me go to top down. The way this works is there's like a little there's like a little lip like what you're used to with a back one that you put it on first, and then that lip catches, and then it kind of just pops down into it. Just like that, and then it kind of kind of clicks in, which is odd. Okay. And then two more of the same screw. Yeah, two more of the same screw. You got to do them on the... There's got to be more on the other side, though, too, which is weird. But, I mean, yeah, these two go right here. Okay. 
very cool. Like, really just kind of having fun building. If nothing else, it's a very neat concept. Yeah. And it, you know, again, it probably saves on costs. Maybe, I don't know. Machining might be expensive for something like this. Yeah, but normally a lot of that machining you set at once and everything else is kind of automated. So we do have mounts at the bottom if we wanted to, which maybe what we do, I don't know, Tom, what do you, th I think what we do is we actually mount AL120s at the bottom and then replace this fan with an AL120. You know what I mean? Because, uh, you know, and then the other two is you could technically put, you could mount an AL120 at the top too, but I don't know if we'll need an AL120. Uh, I don't know, you, we're not feeding the fan. If we don't put anything, we're not feeding this air cooler at all. So I feel like you wanna, you almost like you want an AL120 here, two AL120s at the bottom and one at the back. And this is an intake exhaust and these are intakes, so single exhaust. Just to give us ideal, not that this cool, not that this case really needs it. I mean, it's still pull it in. This might, the bottom might just be enough air to get through yeah. it. Honestly, so the, I would probably run it in standard config now and just see how the thermals are, just so people know if they need to really oh, bother yeah, for, yeah. messing with it. I just Will those plant fans hate, block the bottom uh, it, ports on the motherboard? It is an open side case, so. Uh, no, there. So just to give you guys an idea, when you're looking at room, so you actually have like so up at the front here, like you actually have quite a, like it's really far forward. So you'd have quite a few space to basically do. So I could do all my connections oh, okay. and go from there. But I mean, again, there is no, fr there is, uh, you, yeah, you could do a thin one at the front, but given that the PSU is mounted here, I think you're gonna, if you were gonna feed an AIO, feed, you could put an AIO in here, which is totally fine. You could mount an AIO, but if you were gonna feed an air cooler, if you had something a little bit bigger, I'd probably have an intake fan here. And then right now there's no intake at all. No, there's no intake whatsoever, which is why I think we just add some to the bottom because it would still give, I mean, it's a seven, it's an, it's a 7,700. Yeah. I mean, you still, I mean, but it's still not. forward enough. You'd still get some, I mean, it's, it doesn't need a ton. We could do one at the bottom and one at the top. You know what I mean? I mean, I think I'm, I, I mean, one of the things that we could do is if we did it with just AL fans, like we could literally disconnect them to see what the thermals were like if there was just a single fan in the back. But I think you'll need, I think you'll need fans at the bottom for sure. I think you want to feed it. Oh, dude, it sits on. Yeah, I mean, it'd be interesting to know to do it. Cause like I said, we got three fans in a pack and I, I can get more. I think ideal for this, I, ideally, if I was just gonna do this, and like I said, we could disconnect it afterwards, is that two at the bottom, one at the front, one here, and then one in the <laughs> rear. And I think these four fans is ideal for this. So intake, intake, and then exhaust it, for the fan configuration. I think that's gonna be the best one, which is fine. Uh, I mean, technically it doesn't. I mean, again, you don't, if you put a fan, if, you, if, you're air, if you're AIO cooling, you're pulling air from the top. So, which is fine. So you. It's also not good airflow standards. Yeah, but I mean, this is just, uh, I don't know. They just decided not to, this, this case is thinner. So I don't know, this is just how they did it. Yeah, the one thing is usually you do exhaust. So you, yeah, I mean, you could, like I said, I think what you do is you could do a thin fan at the front. Actually, you might be able to fit a normal fan at the front. To be honest, it's only 20 millimeters of space. Most fans are 25. Yeah. Well, let's do that. I'm going to do it ideal. I'm going to put fan intake, three at the intake, and then I'm going to replace this last one, this rear one, with a with a other fan. And then what we could do is what you were saying is we could disconnect them, unplug them, um, Zeist in, and then test it in the configuration that way. Okay. Right, let's do it. Let's get the fans in. 
Oh, those screws are different, but that makes sense because <laughs> they're fan screws. Uh, uh, I don't know if you could do three at the bottom. I think it's only two. I think you could do two one forties or two uh, two one or two one twenties. I'm looking right now. Okay, let's get these AL one twenties in. It's. Two on the bottom, or you can even do two on the two on the top yeah. by one twenty or two one forties. Yeah, you can do two one forties or two one twenties at the bottom, and two one forties or two one twenties at the top, right? Yep. Yeah. Yep. We don't use these fans very often, so it'll be nice to actually show some of these off. If you have enough, you can replace the fan on the cooler, too. Uh, I don't want to. Yeah, I'm, I'm fine with leaving that fan. Yeah, I think I don't. I think the RG, I think that fan actually looks pretty clean. I mean, I have enough AL 120s. It's funny because they're all going to be outside of the bottom ones, which are not going to, which are going to be mostly individual. Okay, so we'll put this right here. There's room in the back for that controller too for the fans. Yeah, yeah. now that we've seen right. it. At first, I was a little panicked. I'm like, wait, what is? How's this supposed to all work? But it, now that we've seen it, it should be fine. Oh, yeah. Oops. Thank you for letting me know that, uh, Thomas. Mm -hmm. Shoot. <clears throat> it's a little bit late now, but you could have gone with the 620 and the pull pull on the rear as intake. Yeah, you could have. Yeah, you're right. I have the white 620. I just don't, you don't need it. It was like, that's super overkill for this AI, for this CPU. I mean, again, if you wanted to do simple, I mean, like this build could have been really simple and just left it the way it is. I bet you the, I mean, it probably would have pulled quite a bit of air on its own, right? But I think I'm trying to give it just a little bit better, especially if you want to do PBO. Which now I'm kind of sad because you can do PBO on Asus with, uh, and actually determine temperature, temperature uh, targets. I don't know if Azrock has the same thing. Oh yeah, there we go. Okay, so there's there's the rear fan. Okay, so we'll go to here. Go to side view. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna run this cable up and through. Still can go in this little And the fact that these cables are white is actually pretty awesome. There we go. That looks good. Okay, right. so there's that cable. Hey, Let's... Roby, uh, Turdog has a question. Does that case come with little feet to help it get off it like, does. the yeah, it does. floor table? Yep, we haven't okay. got to that step yet, Turdog. Everything's got to go in order for it's this case. It's got to go in order, turd dog. <laughs> right. Why are, you, why, are you, why are you trying to spoil the ending? OK, 
Okay, so that's like, that's very standard Casey right there. Look at all the cable management tracks. That's pretty cool. Yeah, it's actually like just, yeah, there's a lot of really neat in terms of just doing this case. Okay, let's get our two bottom ones in. And we'll grab- They're trying to sabotage your stock and zip ties is what they're doing. Yeah. This okay. case is only a hundred bucks. I know, that's the thing. It's like, it's not expensive either. Are you telling yourself that? This case is only a hundred bucks. <laughs> No, he's going to have to buy new everything. <laughs> okay. I mean, you're due, aren't you, aren't you, Tom? I'm always due. <laughs> I, know, I know you've been eyeing that 14900K. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here we go. So now what we're going to do is we're just going to hook this one up. Pretty straightforward. I love the V2 versions of these connectors. We're gonna do intake at the bottom. And there are little holes, little slots to run things down. Oh, let me uh, let me do the bottom of the MOBO here first. Let's do our, sla our hashtag perfect cable management per the, uh, what they said. And then we'll have one more AL120 that we'll use for the other thing. Okay, so here we go, guys. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna start working on our cable management here. There we go, I'm just trying to frame it a little bit better. There we go, okay. So let's get this kind of going. So I wanna, the other thing too that's gonna be super important is to make sure that I do not have any cables visible. So I don't wanna have anything, I like every, like I'm, I'm gonna try and make sure that very little is actually showable here. Okay, so let's go to the side here. So we're gonna do here. Now, actually I'll just do it all in the front roaming camera because I think it'll just be easier. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna grab our RGB, throw that and connect that right here. And then we'll grab looks like these are both right here too. We're just gonna... as an update, we're at 146 likes on YouTube. Thank you for doing that. Remember, guys, we also, I think we still have 13 points. No, uh, I think, I'm pretty sure Blondie said we were at like 17. 17 points, guys. We haven't even, remember, if we want to give that laptop away, we got to get another quite a bit. 130, look... 123. 123 points. Which means people just need to step up, if you guys can. I'll, let me look at the total here. Trying to knock it out before we leave. So we're at, hold on, I'll tell you. We need 137. That's what we need. Okay, there we go, guys. Okay, so that connects that. We got our, our that one there. Okay, and now what we can do, so we have these very small connections down here at the bottom. Can you guys see that? Okay, not really. Okay, there we go. So we're gonna run our HD audio down in here. There we go. There's HD audio. I will say by them having me, oh, I guess it's not as big of a deal. Okay, front panel, they actually gave us a full 
For a hundred dollar case, which I know Tom, you'll like this, they actually give us a full front panel connector. But Tom had to step AFK for a moment. Okay. And then we have USB. And that USB is gonna go right here. There's USB right there. Okay, all of those cables are white too. Even the AK620 digital. That's just a nice touch. All right, here we go. So let's go to top down here. So now it's we're gonna plug these in. Let's see if I can get let's see if these if I can make it better with this here. Okay, go to roaming again. Trying to get the best view here. There we go. Okay, so the first one is our HD audio. That's gonna go right here. The next one is we have USB. Can go right here. And all the way on the left here is our front panel. And we'll have one more USB. No, no, dang you cable. Sorry, not trying to block your view. Gosh, darn it. They all popping back out. Yeah, and then front panel is right there. Okay, so there's all our cables. Lucky they're all white, which is actually pretty awesome. So like I said, we hook up, there's our front panel connector at the bottom right there, USB, and then we have our HD audio over here on the left. We'll have one more USB that we'll have to plug in. I'm gonna plug it in now, and that's for our fan header. Boba the Fets, normally him as well as everyone else puts in their video card last, but he's following the instructions step by step, and it specifically says in like step three of this case, yeah. to install your GPU. Yeah, it's, uh, I normally do not put in the GPU first. Okay, so we're gonna do one thing here real quick, guys. We're going to run this last little USB cable in. Yeah, they... Okay, this should be the last one. It's our last little HD USB cable. For the fans. All right, now, okay, so all of our, all of our front panel connections are now in. Okay, so now that we do that, now we can put in our fans. We want these to be intake, which is important. Actually, I'll run these right here. So right here in the back here, show you in the side, there's another little hole down here. So I just ran it through that little hole, which seems to line up perfectly with where the fans would be, which is nice. I mean, so far it's just like, it's, it's like, it's like everything is like very ingeniously managed and done. As I've kind of worked on this build, it's just been like, Bam, bam, bam. Like everything's kind of where you need it to be.
Okay. Knew that was gonna happen. There we go. Oh, a little bit looser. Move this a little bit further. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so now we've got, now we're just putting in our screws here. Get our Lee and Lee's in and set up. So if you really wanted to add good airflow, you could do 140s at the bottom too. Okay guys, there's all those. Okay, so now we have that all done. Now what we can do, so I am gonna have to add a white. Let's add the other cables we need, just to make sure we have all the cables here. There we go. So we grabbed a SATA and we grabbed a second connection for uh, GPU. Uh, yes, there's a dust filter at the bottom. Okay, I go into roaming here. What we're gonna do now is just get these plugged in. There we go. We just have one more small one. Okay, and that plugs in right above it. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna route all this stuff into the back here, and then we'll just have that looking super clean. Luckily, it's almost like the GPU is going to hide a lot of the mess of these, these cables here. All right. Okay, so now what I'm doing, guys, I've got this in the back here. I'm literally just gonna round, I'm just gonna round it up here, like round these cables up. And then this will kind of be where we kind of have all of our cable extensions come off of, but it'll be out of the way. So then that's just like, so then all of our cable extensions will run from the back here, except for obviously our one for this, but everything else will just run off of this. What, I feel, I feel like I'm, I'm still one cable down, guys. Still one cable down. One cable down! I need one more GPU cable. That, 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 we just had a sacrifice. We just had a, a poor, a poor uh, 
Zip tie sacrificed its life, Zeistin. Uh, well, there's always at least one that sacrificed its life to the cause. It did. It just sacrificed its life to the cause for no reason. Okay, so what we're going to do, guys, we're going to grab one more GPU connection. Unfortunately, these are all doubles, so... Oh, maybe not. Nope, that's CPU. Crud. Trying not to have, like, extra cables, but we're not going to have much of a choice here. Okay, let's go to side view here. One more cable to plug in. I almost feel like this one, a couple things. I think this needs to get pushed way down here. So in reality, you didn't have to put the GPU in just yet. No, but <laughs> I follow the instructions. Hey, you gotta you gotta let the the people who might choose to build in this case who've never built in it know. Yeah, don't follow the this instructions. Is, put the GPU. This is how they say to do it. <laughs> don't do this. Yeah, don't, don't do, do this. this. Wait till the instruction. <laughs> Wait till the end, like you're supposed to. Don't do what Roby's doing in Struggle Bus just because. Okay. Think of how much more of a Struggle Bus that would be, though, if that was actually in a basement as opposed to on the front of the case. Yeah. Actually, it's like I'm not, I'm not minding the whole where it's at right now. It's like it's okay. You can at least kind of see what you're doing. Right now, it's all about oh. making it look good. Are the flat cables making it easier on the oh, PSU? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. And the only two is they won't look bad. I mean, honestly, the best, I'd say, like, I'd say if, like, you could get, like, the Asus, like, if Asus made, like, an SFX PSU with their cables that were white, That'd be the ideal one for this build. There we go. One more left. Ow. Again, I don't wanna have the same problem I had last time. Zeistin knows what I'm talking about, where I thought I plugged <laughs> them in all the way, and then they weren't. There we go. Pretty sure that anyone who's built more than one computer has been there, done that. There we go. Okay, guys, all those are now plugged in. Okay, so now, we can make that cut like we cut, I mean, uh, that connection like we wanted to here. And now it's just about keeping this like, making it look. We had Liquid House in the chat for a little bit. I looked up, huh? Yeah, Liquid House was hanging around for a little while. Oh, I'm sorry I missed you. Liquid House, I'm sorry I missed you. I'll have to text him and say thank you for stopping by. Love him and Ellie. Here we go, that's what I mean. I know, it, I, I said that cut and I was like, I don't know what I meant by that, but I just, I tried to let it go and PC guy caught me. Thanks for keeping me honest, PC guy. All right, guys, there we go. So that's that's all the power supply connections I need. Let 
Oh, dang it. Where are my cutters? Oh, right in front of me. Freaking blind. I, I was going to say, I'm not hunting them down, Roby. That Fair. was a one-time thing. Okay, guys. Okay, so that takes care of that. Now what we're going to do, now it's time to get everything looking clean. So we can do this via... What is that? Okay, top down. So all of this stuff is basically already hooked up. Now it's just time to run it. I like the cable tie locations. I know you mentioned that earlier, Tom, but impressed so far. Okay, we're gonna grip that one up. And they, they have like like neat, oh, I may wanna run these actually here. They'll run the, I wanna keep the power cables as right-handed as I can. Zip tie time, guys. Everybody's favorite moment. I don't think I'm gonna be using that many of these, but I just want them accessible. And just as an update, YouTube's sitting at 170 likes. Anybody do a tier one yet? Nope. Nope, we have not had any more. Whoa, whoa, whoa there, Boba the Fets. The zip ties are not a sin. What? No way, dude. Zip ties are how you keep it tight. Velcros are, the Velcro stays are a sin. Hey, I like the Velcro things too. They all have their place. You do it, you do you, that's my thing. No judge, this is a, we've talked about this before. This is a judge-free PC building zone. You do what makes you happy. Because in the end, it's your build and whatever, whatever makes you, whatever brings you joy as we call it. What's that lady, Marie Kondo or whatever her name is? You guys know what I'm talking about, the organization lady? Oh, I think so. Yeah, I do. Who are you, ta who are you talking to? Me? Y you. Oh, I was just making sure. I didn't know if you were like having a separate conversation with your wife, who is very no. awesome. <laughs> you were just like, I think so. You know, my wife will like, she'll just be like, what are you doing right now? Hey, how's it going? I'm like, what's up, honey? I didn't know. I didn't want to assume. All good. Okay, that looks way better. So now we just gotta figure out where to put our block here. We still have one more fan we're gonna do. They're not, it's not flat. That's the problem. You don't really have a good flat space. They do have these, but they're not, you know what I mean? It's not. Could put it right there. Is that reach? Yeah, it could go right there. put it right there. Is there any reason that would be a problem? I don't think so, right? 
It's not gonna get too hot. It should be fine. Not missing anything, right? Zeiston, Org, Thomas. It should be fine, there, right? It should be fine in theory. I'm not gonna actually have it touch. I'm just gonna have it, I'm gonna zip tie it in place so that way it just doesn't move. It's not actually gonna be. Uh... Well, even if it was touching, there would still be clearance between it in most places. So yeah. even if it started to get a little warm, there should be enough airflow moving even behind the case. This is when you have to do the creative cable management because you don't want to waste a sticky because you know this build's just going to get torn apart. Mm-hmm. Because even if you love it, we all know you're not allowed to take it home. Yep. Though I'm like super, super tempted to keep that 011 vision. Better leave it at the studio. I actually might just sell another one of our systems. I have a spare one that, like a system <laughs> I built a while ago, I might just sell it. And this build be... will end up in a closet somewhere. <laughs> Door, Thomas, doorstop. Thomas will come over and be like, he'll be over for one of the, when we have him over and he'll be like, what? He's like, dude, I remember when you built this. Wasn't this supposed to get taken apart? Shut up, Thomas. <laughs> It'll be in the closet. We take them apart. Uh, somebody's asking what we do with them. We take them apart. They just get part, and then they, they get parted out for f other builds. Either that or he takes them home and makes sure the wife doesn't find them. Yeah, it makes my wife mad. That's enough PCs, Justin. We don't need one in every bathroom. Yeah. Now it's getting a little ridiculous. The amount of boxes when you walk in his house, like at the front door, um... You think it's like a UPS warehouse waiting to be shipped out. I mean, it is, isn't it? <laughs> okay, there we go. Okay, next up is this one. And we can, and like I said, Zeiss, we could easily disconnect these to test them, you mm -hmm. know what I mean, for mm -hmm. what it was standard-wise. So I agree with you. I think having that little standard test would actually be pretty cool. And guys, the reason this is being zip tied this way is just because normally I would find a place to stick it, but we don't want to, like I said, this build is coming apart. So we're just kind of still making it look good. But at the same time, like if I ever need to do a build and use this for like a giveaway or whatever it was, we have all the mounting plate and everything for it. The instructions said perfect. Damn, yeah, no, I'll, never, it, be, I'll never be here. Is there ever, is there a such thing as perfect cable management? I mean, I know I get close, but. Well, then I guess you'll never be done with this one. This might be your longest stream yet. Like, yeah, it'll be like, oh, we're gonna be here for months, guys. Working on the perfect. Bare minimum, this will, bare minimum, this will be a 24 hour Robithon. Okay. Okay, guys. Now we still have our cable extensions to pop in here and do. So we still have to, like, there's still quite a bit of cabling that still needs to happen.
But they actually gave, there's actually quite a bit of room back in this build for doing cable management, you know? Like more of an, I'm like impressed with how much, how much depth you actually have back here. Well, it's got nope. those mounting points for solid states for two and a half inch right there. So yeah, I saw that. Uh, Miltor, the 14, you're 14, six. You, uh, you might want to go just, uh, I pop into your motherboard. Who is your motherboard by? And which cooler do you have on there? I know yeah. you said you're in a Terra, so it's limited, but. Because the only thing too is you could turn off MCE because a lot of times like uh, if there's multi-core enhancement or some of the motherboards have a tendency to like go above st uh, Intel stock voltages. Because I mean, we did a, we did a 14, what was it that we did? Oh, no, that was, yeah, it was just like, it was like, it was in the 80s. Asus B760i with a deep cool 8600. Yeah, so, so if it, you definitely turn off MCE, because that is on. So they'll turn on that on. By de yeah, it's on by default on every Asus board. So if you turn off MCE, that'll help your temp significantly. So change it to Intel stock. And then the other thing too that I did find out is that if you want to, one thing that Asus also provides which is actually pretty neat is they can actually set your, you can actually set a voltage, uh, a temperature cap for your GPU. I mean, your your um, your um, CPU. CPU. So it'll, it'll run to the max for that temp if you wanted to, which is actually a pretty neat feature. Now, I don't know if it's actually on the B760 because you need, you need to be able to, run your clocks separately. So I don't know if it works. I don't know if it works on B760, but it, if you if you want to, there is a cool option there for you. Okay, so we're gonna figure out how to do this here in a minute, but there's all of our cable management. Again, still pretty clean. Let's go ahead and run all of our cables. Uh, no, sorry, your your best bet is probably to hop in the Discord if you're if you're in there and if you're not join. Um, there's plenty of people in there that can help. Yeah, and me, are more me than and, happy to help. Yeah, me helping on a stream is really hard, dude. But yeah, uh, he, what Zeisen said was absolutely correct, 100% correct. Joe, jump in the Discord, my man. So we still have one more fan to do. We haven't hooked up our, we haven't done our top yet. So we'll do our top and then we'll do all of our, well, actually we can do our, why don't we do our, our cable extensions real quick? Okay. Devoted Phantom, there's one more point. Well, crud, what does that go to? I don't remember seeing anything rubber, but it's got that Corsair, it's got that Cooler Master look to it. I have no idea what that's too. Oh, look, an extra screw. What? It's like, it's not an extra <laughs> screw. It's like literally a whole giant rubber grommet. I'm like, what the heck is that? OK, 
Yeah, just so you guys know, showing you from the rear here, just putting in this, there's one cable kind of came out from the back here, so I can zip tying it down. Okay, so there we go. There's all of our stuff. Now let's work on work on our cable extension. So I'm gonna try something different here, which is gonna make Tom really happy because it's not the cable extensions I said we we're gonna use. <laughs> but I saw these and I thought these would look cute. They're like pink and white, and then we'll use the white from the Asia horse to kind of fill it in. So sorry, Tom. I was just going through and I was like, oh, I should use these. What are they? What brand? Uh, it's called Reaper Cable Softies. Oh, I know those. Andy the Lab uses those. Yeah, we used them in the Secura build. Yeah, with that we did. That's exactly where they're from. Oh. Those are pink and white? Yep, pink and white. I got them. Oh, they actually gave us three power. Oh, never mind. Oh, snap. We won't have to use them. So, yeah, we can just use the softies. Okay, here we go. Pink and white, guys. So, going with the, keep, keep it with the pastel theme. To go with the green and everything else. Okay, there's those. These are actually nice. Actually, these are really great, honestly, because of how short, they're actually really short, which is actually really nice. So they're not as long as the Asia Horse one, so they, whoa, almost took down our camera. Let's go to, let's go to side view here. Okay. Oh, never mind. Dang it. They give us two of these. So I will have to use one Asia horse. Iotastic asks, hey Roby, if you had an 11900K in your system, would you make the 14900 jump or play the waiting game for the 15900? I don't know if I, I mean, it, it, so here's my question. Is something running not well, right? Like that's the question. If you, if something's running that you are having issues with, that's always my. That's always like my my uh, my test, right? Like if you're if you're not having any issues, then I don't know if upgrading makes a lot of sense. But if you are, um, then it might make sense for you to go through. Because if you're running one and it's 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 uh, you're you're noticing performance degradation and you're like I'm I'm not happy with what I'm seeing, then yeah, it might make sense. But if if uh, if it's fine and you're not really suffering then I wouldn't spend if I didn't need to. 
So it's like, that's the thing about upgrades. Upgrades, like people are like, should I do X or Y? And the answer is, well, it depends on whether you're happy with how your build is performing right now. If the answer is no, then yes, you should upgrade. Um, the thing is, is that no matter what, there's always gonna be something that's coming out that's going to like that's going to invalidate whatever it is that you're running already. Which would have more longevity, the 12700K or the 13600K? More longevity, obviously a tw uh, well. A, they're both the same because they're, they're kind of the same. It, I think I don't. Does it? I don't even think they have the same number of cores. So they're and they're. It's the same socket, so it's at this point it's a dead socket. So pick your poison. Say my CPU is dead. Yes, Tom. Yes. My twelve seven hundred K. Dead. That's why you've been looking at a fourteen nine hundred K. He's determined to make me buy one of those. Why? <laughs> I mean, nothing, not that I have an issue with it, but it's just like, why? You're running like a 40, you're running a 3090, and you're, like, your system's great. You don't need anything. Oh, 700K 3090. Yeah, that's, that's perfectly. Okay, guys, I gotta look at this just to, it's, it's being, it's not making me happy. This is not bringing me joy right now. We're up to 185 likes. Why is this being this way? It's like, you yeah, just need to bring it tighter. So what I'm dealing with right now, guys, is just this cable is like the, these extensions are. Another zip tie to the cars. Yeah, I'm trying to make sure these extensions look good. And sometimes it's just, you, if like the, the, it feels like the extensions were getting kind of a, We'll just make them really tight. I think that's gonna be the only thing we can do. Someone on YouTube is asking where you got those extensions from, Roby. Uh, Amazon. Here, he, he, we'll have a link for him, guys. Uh, he changed the he changed the cable extensions hidden, so that's the wrong ones. Yeah, I just I just did that. Couldn't you tell by the disdain in Tom's voice? Yeah, Blondie just dropped him. Takes a village to run a Robitech stream. <laughs> Robitech's too, too unpredictable. Keeps us on our toes. Yeah, that's right. Keep you on your toes. Let's go with that. All right. 
It's all part of the master plan. <clears throat> oh yeah. Okay, we'll get these wired in now. Two have sacrificed their lives diligently for the beautification of this build. Okay, so luckily, look at this. I mean, like, this, dude, this cable's so short that it just, like, it works. Like a work of art right here. Nice. This one, however, a little short. Used to like really long GPU cables, but CPU cables, but we can put it on the other side actually. Are coming together nicely. Uh, Figment, the Intel chicken is not going to happen, unfortunately. It was a, it was actually a college. It's actually an a, a, I am Sydney exclusive, and the reason it was actually has more to do with um, with um, CS:GO than it does Intel. <laughs> So unfortunately, no, uh, no, uh, no chicken. Yeah, if you uh, watch the Intel Morning Show uh, or the Intel, it's the Intel Show right now. Um, you, we 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 had at I am Sydney, they had this like <laughs> chicken, and it was like this Intel dressed chicken, and like Chippy's a very popular, very popular. Um, very popular mascot, but now all of a sudden people are like going nuts because there was an Intel chicken. And so they were like, when are we gonna have like Intel chicken? And we found out that he's not gonna, he's unfortunately not gonna make it across the pond to the United States. What country is he in? Australia. Ah. Uh -huh. Now just get an old bunny man from Intel and have him lay an egg. It looks like this is bent, guys. Look at that. Oh, that's definitely bent. Yeah, it's actually busted. All of this talk about perfectly so far, and then there's this. Yep, that's like bent, bent. I, I hope the Great. back, I hope the, I hope this actually goes in, right? Like we're gonna find out. Grab the rubber mallet. I don't have a rubber mallet. I thought that was like, you know, mandatory for every household to have a rubber mallet. I've I've lived this long without a rubber mallet. Now now all of a sudden I need one. We're gonna have to have a talk with Papa Roby. Yeah, no kidding. He's gonna be like, I'm sure be Papa like, Roby's got a rubber mallet. <laughs> like they're like, dude, if Papa Roby Papa Roby has to have a rubber mallet. Okay, um, build's actually looking pretty good, guys. Go to the side view here. Now what we can do is we can actually, I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do with this. Um, we're finally on this step here. 
I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do with these cable extensions. I need, think I need one. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, chat, chat and both sides right now, by the way, are pretty amazed that you don't have a rubber mallet. Wow. <laughs> oh, that's great. I do not have a rubber mallet, guys. I mean, message Mrs. Roby to get him a rubber mallet for Christmas. For Christmas. Your community said you needed one of these. They're like, I didn't, I've never used one ever. All right, so now we just got to do, just got to figure out, I need to grab different white cable extensions real quick to do these last cables. You don't have any all pink ones, do you? I do actually, but they don't, they don't make them anymore. Asia Horse doesn't make them anymore. Yeah, Asia Horse has really cut down on the on and the models they were making. Stuff. Yeah, it's kind of lame. Come on, Asia Horse. Yeah, they took off a lot. Um, and some of the links I had were just all of all of the Asia Horse cables and all the colors, and now it's down to like eight colors, maybe instead of twenty. Like I said, the the ones that I got, I had to email them and ask them, and they found a set in their in their uh, like storage facility. Storage facility, yeah. Which is unfortunate, right? Because they had some really great colors. Yeah. The pink, pink and black, purple and white. I'm just gonna. I need to find the so the white the whites that I had. Were the white and the all white, and I think I need the white and black for it to look better. Not white and black cables, but the black caps. You know what I'm talking about, Tom? Yeah. 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 So I just gotta go. I literally have like 40 boxes of Asia Horse extensions. <clears throat> I need to label these. <laughs> Tom. I'm just laughing because I know exactly where that box is at, and he does. <laughs> yeah, there's like a whole shelf just filled with cable extension so there's a purple they make a uh brown white and black uh noctua looking yeah i ordered it extension I did you yeah i haven't gotten it yet but i did order it so i, be I cool need... to throw it on like the i have the a Asus, noctua build yeah the aces noctua but then again i should just order custom cables for that Red. Maybe that's what I'll do next instead of upgrading something else. Just get custom cables. Two hundred something bucks. I mean, unless you, depending on what you want to do. Not bad. Yeah, there, I found them. Found white guys. Took some. Took some. It was the fourth box. Fourth Asia horse box that got me to the white ones. Hey, only four. That's not bad. Yeah, not bad. I agree. Actually, this would have been a kind of a cool build to do the, like do a Noctua build in. It would look pretty cool. In this case, yeah. Yeah. Do the mod flex or the mod mesh when you do cable on? I do the if I do the one that has more colors. That's how I always remember. Okay, yeah, that's the mod mesh. Okay.
trying to find the white one of these sometimes is like a... There we go. After this, guys, all I gotta do is finish putting the case together and install one more fan. So we're actually pretty close to being done here. And we're currently sitting at 198 likes on YouTube. No more, oh, we have devoted phantom. Oh yeah, no more points, guys. We haven't gotten anywhere near. Uh, Idle Squirrel, you actually have quite a few options at that level. You can go to a 3080, you can go to a, I mean, you can go to a 4070, like a 4070 would probably be your best bet, um, 6700 XT. Um, yeah, you have a, you actually have a lot of options at that level. So the cool thing about these cables is that they actually share the same, um, they're the same thickness, so. I swear to gosh, these are the same. I almost feel like these were made by the same company. You know what I mean? Like 10 to one, like everything about these cables feels just like the Asia horse cables. Okay, so just as a reminder, guys, here's the build we're doing today. So we're using the, uh, sorry, the AMD Ryzen 7 7700. Uh, we're using the, uh, we're using the A ASRock B650E Steel Legend Wi-Fi. Uh, for the uh, graphics card, we're using the ASRock Tai Chi White Radeon RX 7900 XTX. Um, and then we've got the Patriot Viper VP4300 Lite 4 terabyte NVMe drive. We have the Viper Elite five DDR5 at 32 gigs. Uh, and then we have the uh, Cooler Master Cube 500 flat pack, uh, the macaroon color. Um, and then we have the um, Deepcool AK 500S digital in white. Um, and then lastly, the Cooler Master V850 SFX PSU. Um, so that's how we round, that's our, that's our build all rounded out. A couple things, just a reminder, giveaways. Uh, we have a 200, uh, 250 likes gives a $25 new a gift card. Um, if we get uh, uh, 50 subs, we give away a $50 new a gift card. Uh, and then we are also aiming to give away a, a, uh, a full la blown laptop. So if you wanna win a laptop, the way this is gonna work guys is we need 132 sub points. And the way you get sub points is you essentially and it's a $1,500 laptop. We'll give it away right if, as soon as we hit the, the goal. Uh, if you want to get in on that, all you got to do is drop it. You have to use a tier. You have to drop a tier one sub, not prime, not gifted. You have to drop a tier one sub, tier two sub, or tier three sub. If you do a tier three sub, it's worth six points. Tier two sub is worth three. Tier one is worth one. And then we need 134 sub points. If we get that, I'll give away a laptop um, right here on the show today. So that is the other thing too, is we're trying to hit our, we're trying to hit our, dang it, backwards cable comb, son of a biscuit eater. Um, we're trying to hit our, uh, our, our partner plus.
No, if you the thing is, is it's it's like it's not. You don't have to buy anything to in, to be to be entered to win. You have to basically. It's like a rat. Like it's like a. Uh, it's like a subathon. You have to hit a certain goal to unlock a giveaway. And then if if you do, if we unlock the giveaway, then anybody can enter. It's not gated behind money. You have to, but you have to. Uh, you do. We do have to raise the funds to undo it. It's like a fundraiser. That's called a subathon. And we have 18 points. But if we unlock it, then everybody can enter to win. You don't have to be a subs, just get extra entries. I hate it, I hate it when I do this. When I put the cable combs on the wrong direction. Literally the worst. And if you are already subbed, you know, say for instance, you have a tier one sub, upgrading to tier two, that, that also gets us points. Upgrading to tier three also gets us points too. So you do get points for, uh, if, you are, if you are already a sub, just upgrading your sub from prime to tier one gives me points from, uh, and so on and so forth. Uh, favorite case that came out this year. Uh, that'd be a hard one. It's a choice between the Y70 Touch, which is right here, which reminds me, I need to put the screen over. Y70 Touch or the, um, or the, uh, I really like the O1 Vision. It's not the best performing case, but man, it looks good. That O1 Vision build we just did came out so sweet. There's been so many cases though. The cases has been pretty crazy this year. Yeah, it has. Dude, I was I literally just took these off and then started putting them back on. And then you know we've got we've got CES coming up in under two months. Yep. So I'm I'm hoping we have as good of a cycle next year as well. And there's been like some solid innovation to it, yeah. Yes, Dread Pirate Roberts dropping a tier three sub. Three months at tier three, that is six points. Guys, is that, I think that unlocks one giveaway, right? I think that puts us to 23 or 24. Is it 23, it's, are we at 24? Blondie will have a count for us here shortly. Inconceivable. It's you could do dead you could do it as that or you could do it as Princess Bride. Yeah, the NZXT H flow eight six so we're at twenty four. We need one more tier one sub. Somebody could be the hero, drop a tier one sub, and then that would get us a, we would do a giveaway right now. Doing good, Moa. What's up, Jack Daniel? Gosh darn it, come on. Let go. Finally. Uh. Who's gonna do it? Who's gonna drop the tier one? And Dread Pirate, thank you very much for doing that because that gets me all the way through. I need to do it for three months. Uh, DJ, uh, we are working on a, we're going to do a custom Starfield like Y70 Touch, and then we have a commission one that somebody wants to do too. So yes, there are a number of Y70 Touch builds. But there's a, we already did the Y70 Touch build 
live. We did the Starfield one, but now we're gonna customize it. Okay, here we go, guys, finally. Oh, that one's actually long. Yeah, so you can see that those are actually longer. Question is, where does this run? Oh, right through there. Wow, they have a beautiful box, just perfectly placed right there for one of the GPU cables. Almost like they knew what everyone would want to do. Yeah. Come on. Yeah, we've already we did we did one right at the launch. Big Tuna, thank you for that. But unfortunately, the uh, gifted subs do not count towards the Partner Plus stuff. We need somebody to go and actually just go to do tier, like upgrade to a tier one sub. Don't blame me, blame, blame Twitch. I mean, the rule is very specific. Billy Twitch. Wow, that like looks terrible. Why? I guess this one needs to be on top. They're all twisted on top of each other, that's why. And we got another tier one sub, Roby. There we go. Um, Mr. Kasabatoth. Thank you, Mr. Kasabatoth. And, and I'm sure I butchered that, but... Potato, potato. Like all of the problems for this case are now coming at the end. And then DMAT just subscribed with tier two. So we're on to the next one, guys. I'll do the giveaway in just a second. So I want to do those as soon as we unlock them. There we go. Now I'm in the right place. Okay, let's do that Kingston giveaway. One terabyte NVMe, exclamation point partner plus. Exclamation point partner plus. One terabyte Kingston Fury up for grabs. Giveaway happening right now. Okay. Last little bit of this. Ooh, this is gonna be the trickiest part, I think. Mm. 
maybe. I have to see top down. While the giveaway's running and while Roby's doing this, uh, just a reminder, we need another 30 likes on YouTube to unlock another giveaway. $25 new gift card. That's going to be able to work right there. I think it can go up. I think that looks like it's going to be the best bet. You can't see it anyway. Here's a really long one. Hold this down. A lot of zip ties being used today. Yeah, this one's got this one's we got I mean we got a little bit of a challenge there just with that little group, but I think we got it. I think it's gonna fit. And the giveaway's over, guys. Congratulations to Occident, is it accident or Occident Pro? I, mean, I think it's supposed to be, I mean, it's a play on accident, but he's, he's okay. <laughs> okay, guys, build is, all we got is one more fan to add, and then we've got it all. Gotta add one fan, and then that's it, and then I gotta finish putting this case together. We're just going to create an intake fan for our. Intake fan for our CPU. So we can go ahead and put on, we, one thing we haven't put on yet, and I, I don't know if it's like it's bent here, so hopefully it goes on. Side view here, we need to do our feet. feet go this way okay there we go oops I need to put them in the right place though <laughs> there we go and they, they come out very easily which is nice and again this is something where you can change the orientation of the of the build too, right? So you can actually change which place where you put the feet on, so they're made to be able to come off. There we go. I still don't know what this is for. Okay, so our feet are on now. <coughs> Whoa. So for when I do that. Huh. 
Ooh, that is popping way out. All right, looks like it's actually bent on a couple different directions. Dude, this thing is like, no, it's... No, the, the bend isn't from there. It's actually from the, uh, that's actually just like, I have the, the, the cables are too fat right now. And so it's on like an axis. Oh. I was looking at how it was sitting on your table. It definitely was not level when no, you were that's rotating because, it around. But that's because I have the, uh, that's because this is sticking way out of the back. Ah, gotcha, gotcha. So I'm trying to figure out how, if there's a way, because that, this is, this is not going to close, I don't think. Wow, it's crazy bent on that one side. There we go. I think that'll be okay. Yeah, the rest of that should be fine. All right, let's get our one fan in. <clears throat> one more fan and then we're we're good. I'll give you guys a better view of the side view. White Uni 120 fan. Okay, last part of this whole build. So we see if all the glass and stuff fits on there because of the, the bent bottom. Which actually really impresses me that it's bent because that the way they packed it was like super good. And then this is going to be set up directly as intake for the for the P, the GP, the uh, air cooler. So we just moved it right so it's gonna feed directly into the air cooler.
There we go. Okay, now to just do the last little bit of the, the fan situation here. Five more likes on YouTube, guys, and we'll do another giveaway for a $25 new egg gift card. Wow, that, you guys got that done quick. There we go, guys. Did Tom leave us again? Nope, no, last still here. He was, yep, there he is. Oh. You just got really just quiet. Just watching. Oh, sorry. Oh, that's okay. I know it's late just there. Just watching. Yes, it is uh, 10 minutes to midnight. Guys, we'll probably just do thermals on this one, just given how late it is. So we'll get thermals done, all that sort of stuff, at least showing that. I mean, we've done a lot of, I mean, I know there's some question and when we, we do a cut down on the build, so we'll do, we'll show you guys performance, gameplay performance metrics with that. The thing is, is Radeons are actually really hard for us because of the, the HDMI 2.1 and it's, it's stuff like that. Okay, so I think, okay, we have all that. Okay, so the build is done. Now is the, put all the, put all the panels back on. See if that back panel goes on. Yeah, see, and then see if the back panel actually goes on. Okay, this goes back on here. Oh, they're magnetic, it's just magnetic. Oh no, it pops in, okay. Here's that one. Looks like they're interchangeable. So they're like nice little rubber pop on things. Okay, so that's that's how. Let's go to side view, static view, so you guys can see. Like a new build every day with that. Case. Yeah, so there it is. Now it's all. Let's put the feet on it. Dust filter. It's gotten way heavier now. All right, so it's gotten way heavier. Does the bend in the back look any better? Well, we're going to find out. <laughs> that bend is actually really bad. Sorry. I'm trying to figure wait a minute, this doesn't hmm. Can't tell if it's like Does it only go on one way? Feels like that's gonna go, yeah, it's like you're gonna, you have to, like, and it's like.
I don't know if there's any way I can fix this either. Rubber mallet. No, I, <laughs> I was going to say the same thing. <laughs> I don't know if that would actually work. It's it's bent in, so I don't know how to rubber mallet it out. Oh, it's bent in towards the inside of the case? Yeah. Uh, so rubber mallet and a pry bar. Yeah. And it's like, it's actually like because of how this thing is. Hmm. I wonder if. And the YouTube goal has been reached as well. There we go. Good job, everybody. Thank you. Yeah, thank you, guys. Ooh, that actually helped quite a bit. Your dog said the panel was on upside down. No, it wasn't. The clips go in the one place. No, they, it's definitely not upside down. Oh, you think, oh, maybe it does go. Okay, we'll try it this way. No, no, it's definitely not upside down. It's like, it's, it's, I can definitely see where it's supposed to. It's not hitting that. It's not clearing this little bit right here. Cause it's supposed to go like that, you know what I mean? And then it would clear the bit. So. If you squint, it's mint. feels like it's more bent than I thought it was. Yeah, because it's like trying to... Oh, shoot. Man, you got to be careful with these feet, too. Because I'm worried that you could snap these and then break the feet. It could be, I don't think it's the cables. I mean, dude, this thing is like, well, you definitely got it better. More bent out. You appear to have it correct with the bar with two holes on top to, to secure it to the top of the case, too. doesn't the lip it's hitting is like I don't know if it's like completely yeah and it's it's or the, the good thing is is like if this is broken the thing the, the only thing you need to pull is the bottom And I know your table's pretty flush, and whenever you had that sitting on all four feet, you could actually see the whole case rocking. Oh, I see what you're saying. So it's it's more like it's tweaked in two directions. Yeah. It's definitely not going on very... I mean, like, the, I don't think the cables help, but it's like, I think it would... Like, it's, it's, not, it's acting like it's not even fitting.
We got that one, didn't I got it? Yeah, I'm like chewing up the, actually chewing up the, uh, I don't think the, these cables are helping either, but try and get them a little bit. It's oh, the cables, the cables probably aren't helping, but the fact that the case is out of square really doesn't help. Yeah. Okay, that is actually, that is actually flat now. That wouldn't fit. So I fixed the one thing where there would be a cable issue. Uh, no logics. He's he actually followed the directions for this case step by step. The back panel is one of the last things to go on. Yeah. Yeah, it's like the the whole thing is bent. I got it. Now, quick, tape it together. Stay. Yeah. Get some duct tape. <laughs> oh, no. If you remove the top, there's two screw holes to secure the panel to the top. Oh, there is, right. To the top. There is. I see them. Oh, yeah, there's two. There's a screw hole, and that's all I would have to do to get, to get it to stay. It's like they knew. At least the instructional video showed I'm doing it with a little less effort. Okay, it's staying now. Let's hope I don't have to change. Oh, <laughs> it's when I need to test the, when I need to disconnect things for the airflow, that's gonna be a pain in the butt, but oh well. Yeah, at least it's only a couple screws, right? One. I put one in there. There you go, guys. Okay. We still have the glass to put on that we could put on. And I got to peel the front here. here. I'm just going to do some like last minute like making it look pretty. Actually, it looks pretty good. There we go, guys. I still feel like there's there's still a whole there's still some other things in here. So we have the glass. Front panel. And that's for like, if you wanted to do like the side. Yeah, that's it, that's the whole thing. So everything flat packed. There's the entire build. It was all started in this. It feels like there's more in here. It's weird. Like it doesn't feel like I got like for only, there's only supposed to be like one thing in here, but I thought you said there was interchangeable panels, right? Oh, there they are. Oh, yeah, there's more panels in here. Should be a couple different colors in there. Yeah, there's brown. Oh, you can change like a bunch of stuff on this. You are, the like feet an, are the feet different colors too? No, there's a Neapol, so there's two other, here, I'll pull them out. There's two other colors in here, guys, that come with this box. I was like, man, this feels not. So you can do like a Neapolitan, right? 
Hey, to poets, man, thank you very much. So you got two other colors you can do. So you could do like a pink. I don't think the pink is the right color pink. You know what I mean, to match the cables. But I think like you could do like, if you wanted to do like a Neapolitan, you could totally do like a Neapolitan type look to it. And almost like, it's almost like it's, it's it literally is Neapolitan, right? It's like, just like the ice cream. Hey, Roby, that grommet that you have, yeah, you didn't know what it was from. That goes in the handle up there, and it's to hold your headset cord or keyboard oh. cord. You can hang it from it. So there, yeah. So it's actually for a hundred bucks, and then you get all of the different colors too. That's pretty awesome, actually. Except for when your case That's... is bent. <laughs> Are there two attachments that go on the front of the case and in, in the holes to like hold a keyboard or hold a headset? There should be those too. Yeah, there was a, there were some other options. Okay, so these, oh, so you can take this and this goes like right here. Oh yeah. So that goes right there. Yep. Yep. It's in the shape of the Cooler Master logo too. Yeah. So you can hold your, uh, so much cool stuff, guys. Oh, yeah. Thank God for the pliers. Rubber mallet. The answer is pliers. Um, <laughs> okay, let's get all of our, our, our screws back in the bag, not lose anything. Count our zip ties. Yeah, so you get a lot of, there's a lot that you get for this. I'm just surprised it was bent. Yeah, and they have a bunch of 3D printed stuff as well for this already. All right, there we go. That was a fun build. Minus the bent part, but outside of that, like everything else is actually really fun. Would you say the average person who's at least built before should give this case a shot? I mean, it's it actually, it's like the only thing that if I, if you wanted to do this, the only thing I wouldn't do is put the GPU in when they told you to put the GPU in. It just really, it complicates it. Um, the other thing too is, I don't know about average. I mean, there's definitely some things it's got, it's, it's more reminiscent, you know, now that we have the build out, it's more reminiscent of a, of a um, SFF build than it is a regular like PC build. You know what I mean? Um, the, the PSU being in the side, you know what I mean? Like it, it, uh, it's, it's a little bit more interesting, right? And so there's a lot more thought in terms of hiding stuff. I feel like, I feel like if you had like somebody like Zeiston, this case would be like, and he just wanted to get the build done and not cable manage, this, this PC would be terrible. The rear fan could be melt. Yeah, I, I actually, the reason I have it as low as I do is to basically blow directly into the, G I mean, so the GPU is, is, I mean, sorry, the air is being directly pulled for the CPU. But yeah, you could raise it up. You actually have quite a bit of room to raise it up. So what you're, so what you're saying is this is a great stuff and go case. Yeah, no. This is not a great stuff and go case. <laughs> Opposite of a stuff and go case. Okay, guys, we're gonna go through our uh, we're gonna go through our deals real quick. Uh, we're also gonna just run through our just check out our sponsor and then we'll get this going, uh, and then we'll uh, we'll do some thermals and do some giveaways and then call it from there, guys. The poets, thank you very much for the five gifted sub, my man. I'm looking forward to seeing you at uh, DreamHack. Oh, the poets is gonna be at DreamHack yeah, as well. Yeah, the is gonna be there. Yeah, because it's like a. There's a lot going on for, uh, uh, yeah, and I'll do zip ties oh, yeah. right now. Uh, zip ties, yeah. Um, so, to poets, you get Ro you get Roby's share of barbecue I'm bringing. Oh, wow. What? 
<laughs> That's rude. Rude. Okay, let's grab our stuff here real quick. Thank you everybody for tuning in. For Sorry it was a little bit of a later show than normal, but uh, still an oldie but a goodie. I will Don't tell worry, you this. Don't worry, folks. I, I, I'm bringing beef. He always brings beef. Beef with me. Okay, guys. Oh, it's a tiny little build, isn't it? It is small. Oh, yeah. Better count. You better count them zip ties. Blondie's about to um, I know, PUBG Blondie. You. I'm going to... Let me reset this real quick. Okay. Um. Yeah, this is the... Uh, this is the... Uh, for the origin, the origin made these. And then There's we a also cool have a video out there too about how he, how it got made and how they he was surprised that they did it for him. Yeah, it was actually pretty cool. Okay, let's count zip ties, guys. For people who have a heart attack. Oh, there's a lot though. Just don't count like the sloth on Zootopia. One, two. <laughs> oh, I messed no, up. No, instead, instead he's got to count like the count. One, you know. ah, ah. Top down. Here we go, guys. One, two, three, four, five. There's five. Almost did one try to get in there. Okay, there's five. One, two, three, four. Five, there's 10. One, two, three, four, five, there's 15. One, two, three, four, five, there's 20. One, two, three, four, five, 25, 28. It's even today. 28, guys. Even today, do, guys. I told do you, know you why it's, it's. Do you know why it's even? Because of the, the ones that sacrifice their lives. It would have been even. It would have still been even. You only sacrificed two. Oh, yeah, that's right. I should have sacrificed more. It's it's even because I voted odd. Oh, that's probably why. Okay. Even. Steven. That panel is looking... Uh, What panel? Oh, dude, it's... it's um, it, the, the whole case is bent. Guys, yeah, the case is the, the case ca is tweaked. Case That's is not going to get any better. Yeah, is the I fixed the cabling because it was holding. It's the case is tweaked. So, sorry. Okay, oh okay, yeah, here we go, guys. Let's talk about. Uh, you get finished with the build like this. It's time to install a copy of Windows. If you wanted to go to like Best Buy or whatever it was and pick up a copy, it'd regularly be 150 bucks, whatever. But not at VIP/EDKDeals.com. You pick up a copy of Windows 10 Pro for 23 dollars. Windows 10 Home for $19, Windows 11 for $31, or Windows 11 Home for $29. But if you just hit this, hit Win 10 Pro. Now, when you're there and you hit Buy Now and use RBCK at checkout, just hit RBCK, just like that, hit Apply. What was $23.09 drops all the way down to <coughs> $16.16. But it's not just Microsoft Windows. You can also pick up copies of Office. There's Office right there. Office 2021, regularly $206. You can pick it up here for $103.94. But if you hit buy now, they do, the Turdog, I don't think they do. Uh, same thing, use RBCK at checkout, and instead of being $100, it drops all the way down to, drum roll free, please. Uh, $74, $2.41, which apparently it used to be better. 
uh, because I'm looking at the things that were popping there and it used to be lower. So we need to update that blondie. So anyway, $72.41 now. Uh, now these are legit keys. We have verified them. Um, we, when I first was working for Microsoft, I had my legal team look at them. So they are legit. They have great customer service if you have questions about them. You can head on over. I uh, just literally asked the myriads, literally thousands of people who've picked, uh, who've bought PCs um, and uh, use their codes. I know a lot of people use them all the time. They are one use code. So once you use them, you, do, you, you won't be able to like switch hardware and then be able to use it again. Like some of the stand, more standard Windows codes, which is one of the reasons they're so cheap. So anyway, that's it. VIP slash CDKDeals.com if you're looking for inexpensive Windows. Last thing I'm gonna tell you guys about is uh, the robitech.com. I know people are excited about our build mats and all that sort of stuff. So we're gonna have build mats. They're gonna be in in early December. I'll have an exact date here pretty soon. Um, so if you wanna pick one of these up, I know they've been out, they've been not on sale for a long time. We finally have them coming in. The other thing too is that uh, if you guys wanna know everything that's ha happening right now, uh, I would definitely sign up for the Robitech Insider. It has all the information in terms of uh, giveaways and everything else. Uh, you can go to robitech.com slash insider and just subscribe right here. Uh, it's got a rem all, those, all the videos, which you guys are always curious. How many videos do we make? We make a lot of content every week. So there's all the videos, the morning show, as well as also um, any giveaways that are currently active, like for instance, the ARA uh, History Untold giveaway, and then the other competitions that are happening uh, within the community and all that sort of stuff as well. So a lot of fun, great community manager, uh, great newsletter, uh, has all the information on Robitech. The other thing too is if you like a build, for instance, you like this build right here, um, we have all of our builds listed with build parts and links as well as links directly to the videos. So if you wanted to pick up a copy, you know, if you wanted to, to uh, follow along, it's all right there. Uh, all the parts for all the builds and all that sort of stuff. So a great place to go and find our build links as well. Last thing is deals. Let's see what deals Tom's got. Tom, you're, you're on the channel while we're talking I about am. the deals. <laughs> I am. First Spend one, this deal is awesome. The ROG Ally, how much is it regularly? $150 more than this. ROG Ally, seven inch, 120 inch, 120 hertz FHD, 1080p handheld gaming PC. I've done it, I love it, I use it, I travel with it. It's uh, the 512 gig version, $150 off, making it $449.99 over at Best Buy. So if you are wanting to get one of these for your kid or for your, your significant other, um, that is a hell of a price to be able to get that handheld. The screen on that is fantastic. Um, and then just use the Steam Deck settings uh, and you'll uh, you'll absolutely love it. Samsung 990 Pro M.2 2280. This is a four terabyte Gen 4 on sale, $249.99. That's a good price for a four, a four terabyte NVMe. Uh, HP Omen 34 inch VA LED curved QHD, 165 hertz monitors. This is a 1080p on sale, $329.99. That's um, 1440p. Oh, sorry, 1440p, sorry. Yeah, that's right, sorry. Uh, QH, so it's a 1440p monitor. $150 off, making it $329.99. Or if you're a total tech member like me, then it's $309.99. Uh, Samsung Odyssey G5, love their screens. Uh, 34 inch uh, WQHD, 3440 by 1440 2K, um, one millisecond mil uh, response time, 165 hertz. Wow, $299.99 for that monitor. That's a really yeah. good price. Uh, the TP-Link, if you're looking for an eight gig port, 17 bucks, so 55% off. These are always good things just to have around. And then the Rocat Cone Pro Air Lightweight. I used this a ton uh, not too long ago, but we used to use it, um, we, used to, we actually used it a number of times uh, here on the show, so really, really cool. Anyway, guys, great deals. Uh, my favorite are this, the, the Ally, and the Odyssey G5 uh, are probably my two favorite here if you wanted to pick up something good. So yeah, anyway guys, great deals. Everybody say good job, Tom. I can tell him, thanks Tom. Tom, you're hey. right here. Good my job, pleasure. Oh, boy. There's, uh, there's obviously more deals than that, um, but uh, you know, limit six to the stream. Yeah, we, so. live at, we live at six. And then the other two is if you always wanna follow along, you're always looking for good deals, check out uh, Roby Tech Deals on Twitter. Uh, he, tweets all, he tweets them all the time. Rainer Schreit, he actually doesn't sleep. He's uh, he's uh, he's a cybernetics. Um, so he doesn't, yeah, that's all he does all the time is just find deals. Cybernetics. Deals. He's cybernetics. All right, all right. Okay, that is it, guys. It is time. You guys are ready. It's time to fire up the build. I know people are excited. Hopefully the bent panel doesn't make it not open, not work. Not that that would happen, but I, at least I'd have something to blame it on if it doesn't work. Okay. <sighs> So All right, my time has come. I'm going to leave for the you're not evening because it the, is. Uh, you're not going to watch it turn on. 
I'm going to shut my headset off because it's 12.30 and I just want to sit and relax and watch the stream. Oh, yeah. It is not 12.30 yet. It's 12.20. Yeah, you got 10 more minutes, dude. Mm. Just kidding. I round up at 15. <laughs> <laughs> That's his cybernetic, his cybernetic ways. Okay, my man. Absolutely. We'll talk to you later. All right. Have a good night, guys. Okay, here we go, guys. Time to, time to get this bad boy turned on. We still have to... Now, I will tell you a couple things. The, the CPU cooler will not light up right from the beginning. There's actually also a chance the fans won't light up right from the beginning either because some of them require hardware to get going, but let's get it plugged in and get it going. And will it post? Ugh. And thank you very much. We got how many points today, Blondie? 26, I believe. 26 points today, so we're closer. Un might unable be. to unlock that piece of that laptop giveaway, but still. Might be 27, actually. Okay, you know what? I just realized I may have to reach in there and un and plug in. Make sure that the switch is on on the, on the uh, PSU. 28. Oh, we got 28. Okay, good. 28, guys. Oh, yeah, the switch is on. Okay, cool. Ugh. Okay, here we go, guys. Three, two, one. Did it turn on? No. Did you plug the power cable into the into the PSU with the SFF? Oh yeah, I adapter did. Adapter in there. I did, but I think I maybe I didn't turn the cable thing on. Is this all the way in? Oh, there it goes. Okay. <laughs> there we go. Boom, there it is. That actually looks really good. <laughs> With it all lit up and stuff like that, that actually looks really pretty. It does, and the RGB on that on that 7900 XTX looks really good. Yeah, it does. That yeah, it does. So there we go. So it looks so like when you have it like this, this is more like when you'll see like all of the other lighting and stuff on it. And the lighting on the outside of that, uh, it, that cooler also looks really nice. Still waiting. Looks like we're doing memory training. Yep, that's the way it always is. Still running, I'm still seeing it cycle, so that's always a good sign. There it is, guys. I saw it. There it is. It posted. Bada boom, bada bing. We are in. So it is posted. Now it's doing the weird thing where you're not going to see anything, and that's just because I haven't switched it over yet. Okay, so here we go. Let's go ahead and uh, get the peel done. Doesn't quite line up here either. Oh, it all, okay, it did. A little bit better on the front. There it is, guys, and then we're just gonna do our peel. There it is. Wow, it's been a while since I've seen, I've heard like team no sticker, team sticker. There we go. Okay. Okay, let us, I gotta switch the, this has gotta go out so I can make this work. Okay, you should, hopefully. Okay, you should see it now. All right, there we go. 
Okay, so let's get this all set up real quick. That auto driver thing is my favorite thing about ASRock. Just very, very fast to get it up and going, installs the drivers, and then we, you know, in terms of just updating and stuff like that, probably one of the fastest methods. And it also installs no bloatware. So unlike MSI, which allows to install like a bunch of like Norton and stuff like that, this doesn't do anything like that. All right, here we go, guys. Let's get, test our thermals real quick. not need that because it's already done oh and I also need to install the drive the graphics driver but that's already downloaded so let's go to duplicate Okay, so let's install our graphics driver real quick. Everything else is ready to go. It's actually really quiet. Yes, the seventy the the seventy six hundred is being given away today. The seventy six hundred X is being given away today. See you later, Moa. Oh, let's grab another like water. Just got to flash a couple times. That avatar GPU is coming out soon. Okay, just gotta restart one more time. I'm trying to think of what colors would look good in there. For the it would be nice. It would be nice if, if you did it per fan. You did the top ones just a. A white and then probably run the other ones as a pink a pinkish oh yeah just so, so you could just so you get the contrast right in the middle yeah luckily with the Lee and Lee software you can do that I think just white around the I don't know if I mean maybe like a like a nice pink on the fear on the Ram mm-hmm Okay, so we have everything ready now. Let's just check our temps, though. Yeah, the 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 rainbow does look it does work for sure. Um,
Rainbow works, but I think what's throwing it off is the <clears throat> is the non pastels. I do need to put L Connect three on so the fans still do what they're supposed to do. Because they're not going to run at the right speed. How did I know that Cole Martin's comment was going to be hashtag more pink? This always feel it weird that like that it has to use like Google Drive, you know what I mean? It's just like They really need to find like it like I don't know. It's just it makes it kind of it makes it feel kind of shady. We could do, so they're all in different places. Okay, so, so we're one, two, so let's see which one this is. Let's do static. Let's just make this white. Apply. That's the back fan. So you're saying do a little pink on that one. Like a, like a light pink. Ooh, that looks really good. Okay, I like that color. Okay, let's find out which fans these are. Static color. That's the bottom. Oh, that actually looks really good. Oh, you can change the... Ooh, let's do this. That color. There we go. We got the pink with the white. Static color. There we go. With the little white on the outside too, that looks super good. Um, and then we'll do this one. Static color, just white actually. Let's create some more. Yeah, the top one, and then what we'll do is we'll actually we'll do this static color. Then we'll do the outside with the pink. There we go. So we inverse that. Okay, so that takes care of that. Okay, so there we go. So that's uh, that's all the colors. So it's all pink and white there. Now let's go to uh, B. Let's go here. 650E Steel Legend. Legend Wi-Fi. Support. Oops, got to do it down here. Support, download, polychrome. This is all stuff you can never do until you actually have the whole build done. But this should do the GPU and the CPU. I mean, this, the colors. Oh, hydrate. Yes, sir. Sorry. Yes, ma'am.
You know, all in all, as rock has gotten so much better this generation, they all have. the way down to polychrome. You remember when polychrome wouldn't even launch? Yep. See what happens here, guys. Oh, wow, it's white. Detecting, detecting, you know, you're going to say something and then it's not going to work. <laughs> <laughs> that would be the luck of the things tonight, right? I know. Oh, look at that. Oh, it's all white. Everything was coming out of the box all pretty on the case. And I commented on how everything was straight and square. And then the la one of the last pieces is bent. Okay, let's go. Let's just do static and let's, you, we want to start, maybe we should start with pink. Compliment polychrome, then it crashes. Oh man, that actually, whoa, ho, 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 ho. oh guys, look at that. Can you throw that on the big screen? There we go. Oh, that looks good. That looks really good. It looks more purple right now due to the, it's, which is obviously due to the camera. Yeah. But you can tell it's pink. That looks good. Okay, one more thing to let, get working, and that's just the, the deep cool. What was that blade of ice? You want me to come up and assist you with your build? Yeah, it worked. It just worked right out of the box. Yay. You might want to make the pink a little bit brighter just to match maybe the cable, but I mean, like it looks really good. And there it is. There's that beautiful digital display. Guys, we have it all set up now. God, that looks really good. With the white and the pink. Yeah, that looks really good, guys. It's amazing how everything just matches. Like, because it's using, the thing that's so crazy about it is it's using three different, it's using three different lighting programs, which is the part that makes it more interesting. I'm wondering if the pink panels would, uh, I think that's too many, that'd be two different, too many different shades of pink. Might have Brian shift them out to figure out which one will look better with the pictures, but the inside actually looks really hot. Okay, guys, now it's just to see how well does this actually run. I'm expecting very well. And then we're gonna run one quick test and disconnect two sets of fans that would just test how it would test from a stock configuration standpoint. So right now our pack, well actually our package temp is in the 70s, but it always does that right when it starts. Yeah, yeah, anytime. I see it whenever I load up hardware info or any, or any of that on mine. Actually it's staying in the 70s. They definitely got seated, right? It's not That's going pretty down. hot. It's not going down. Oh, it's still initializing. Hold on. There it goes. There it goes. Yeah, there it goes. All right, here we go. Let's go multi-core.
Oh, hold on. Well, I'm right now I'm running it with just low. And it's running in like the low 70s. Uh, Darth Knock, it's a 7700. No, it's a 7700 non X, not using no, no, it's not using, um, um, oh gosh, what is the thing? It, um, the overdrive stuff. This is just a stock 7700. The GPU is a 7900 XTX. But again, you don't need a lot of GPU, you don't need a lot of CPU for a 4K gaming rig. And the 7900 XTX does quite well at 4K. Yeah. But you One could, of the main reason. You oh, could use whatever that's the stupid... Um, uh, I can never remember the name of it on Ryzen. We were talking about it last time, Org. Uh, the... What is it? Starts with an O. In the BIOS setting. PBO, sorry, that's what I was thinking, PBO. You, oh. It doesn't have PBO on right now. You said starts with an O and that was okay. like... Yeah. Hey, wait. Knockout 88 dropping a... Ooh! Knockout 88 dropping a tier three sub. So that's three more, uh, six more points. Plus Juniper Osera did another one. So that's seven points. PBO, that's what I meant to say. My mind, sorry guys, it's uh, it's 9.42 and I, I went to bed at four, four o'clock in the morning playing Civ 6, so my mind is not quite at the uh, optimal set right now. All because he had to beat Alex. All because I had to beat Alex, yep. Oh, you already, okay, so it might just be three more points. Thank you, Knockout. Remember guys, if you wanna help with getting me my Partner Plus, all you gotta do is upgrade your tier, like what, what, just like what uh, Knockout 88 did, and that would, it goes a long way. We're trying to hit Partner Plus. We need 350. We only actually have two streams left um, for this month, and we have a lot to unlock. So if you could find it and help me, that would be huge. So, yeah, it's Alex's fault, Figment. Okay, so I would say this is going to be fine. Temps are great and no problem whatsoever. Now we could, the question that everybody had though was, what is it if we didn't have the other fans? So if you just ran it stock and decided not to do the, not to feed the air, the CPU anything, what would the temps be? So we're gonna test that real quick. If I can find the, there we go. Okay, so we're gonna disconnect. Oh, now it's not coming out. Oh, geez. <laughs> it says no, I'm staying put together now forever. No, it is not coming out. How did that, eat? why is it not coming out? Ugh. Wow. Roby, before you just overly fight that, can you just set the fans to zero RPM mode? No. I already, already did. Yeah, I see that. There we go. Okay, now there are no fans. Okay, we're just gonna leave that little corner pocked.
Okay, so this is what the temps would be like with only if you left it at stock. Okay, that's not, that's gonna drive me nuts. I know it's one thing, but. There we go, okay. So this is all, the only fan that we have in here is just this one. And this is now in the configuration. Nope, maybe not. Did it right the first time. Well, it's not even staying with the screw in. All right, here we go. So here it is, same thing, same test. Now all you have is an exhaust fan. Last time was Scott up to 75. Seems to be fine. I was guessing with basically a full cutout case, it would probably be pretty okay. I mean, this thing isn't even ramping up though. Like seven, like the the CPU curve on this thing, like it's not even good. I, I think this is like, I mean, for a 7700, it sounds like if you, the, the answer is, if you didn't want to buy new fans, you just wanted to use a stock configuration without the other fans, you totally could. And not be bothered by it at all. Oh, sorry. You guys can't see what we're seeing. Sorry. Uh, we can see it on the display. Oh yeah, there you go. But again, now you can see it here too. Yeah. Yeah, the fans are blocking a little bit, but I mean, it gives you an idea. So in other words, you don't technically need the, uh, you don't technically need the fans. Okay, let's get them back on real quick and then we'll, we'll be good. That hole, that key is not holding it very well. Oh, I could tighten it and that'd probably be better. thing is like it doesn't come off after this holy crud it doesn't even make sense why it doesn't come out it's crazy it doesn't it doesn't even make sense it's like I don't want to go together but I also don't want don't to come, want to come apart. apart it's like what Well, oh, okay, that's how to do it. I found out how to open it better. Okay. So that's the real reason they put the spoiler on the case. All right, guys, fans are back in. Tighten this all the way down. Make sure it doesn't. There you go, and that holds it in. Okay, cool. So there we go, guys. That is it in terms of uh, the build and everything else. Uh, just because it's almost 10 o'clock, uh, we're gonna call it here. Uh, we'll do performance benchmarks and stuff like that. 
uh, in the cut down so you guys can know what it does. But there is our Cooler Master Cube build, which I think came out really, really awesome and very, very clean. And if you can get one without a bent back piece, it's probably a phenomenal case. Yeah, it's uh, but there it is with our pink and our green look to it. And I think it came out clean. I think it's very, very. Okay, guys, we're gonna do our giveaways here in just a second. We got a $25 new A gift card and a uh, the 7600X we're gonna be giving away in just a second. So let's do the uh, let's do the $25 new A gift card. If somebody wants to drop 11 subs, then we can uh, we could give away a $50 new A gift card too. Um, here we go, 17. But here we go. Uh, we're gonna do. Uh, Exclamation point community. Saving that settings. Uh, giving away a $25 new gift card right now. Exclamation point community, there we go, right there. Starting that giveaway right now, guys. Ten, five, uh, sorry, two minutes. That build looks really good, actually. With all the it lighting does. and stuff like that, it, it looks way better once we got it all themed. I wasn't as fond of it when it wasn't all themed, but now that it's all themed, it actually looks really good. And as much as this is gonna hurt Cole Martin's feelings, I'm not a huge fan of pink, but that looks really good. Yeah, it does. It actually, the whole thing just really, it came together. It's like the rug in the Big Lebowski. It just ties the whole room together. Yeah, that'd be a, I mean, if you had that build just sitting on your, like all in all, like even with the, the PSU in there and everything like that, it, like it doesn't, it doesn't detract. I don't, I'm not a huge fan of being able to see like the, um, the text on the PSU. So you could do something to fix that, but everything else, they did a really good job of helping you cable manage and make it look clean. And that, those, like those deep cool digital coolers just look so good. And it's, it's because of the little RGB at the top that just really makes them pop. Well, you know, like you said, there's a bunch of 3D parts available. If you have a 3D part, I'm a 3D printer. I'm sure someone has some kind of a PSU cover or something. Yeah, you could. Yeah. We have 30 seconds left, guys. 30 seconds. Thirty seconds, guys. Two seconds. Okay, picking up. Congratulations to Algunavex. Algunavex, you are the winner of the Algunavex. You are the winner of the twenty-five dollar new gift card. Congratulations. Okay, last giveaway, guys. Last giveaway, and this is exclamation point community. This is the last one. Exclamation point. Ryzen 5 7600 X up for grabs. Going right now. Two minutes. And remember, if you are a sub, you do get extra entries towards winning that that death that P, that um G, that CPU. Hey, Campbell, thank you very much for the upgrade to tier two, dude. That's huge. Thank you, man. That's more points. We're getting there, a little bit at a time. Low and steady wins the race, as they say. I'm hoping, I mean, like, I'd feel like it's just like, I know we had, it's a, it's a lofty goal. We're going to do oh, it. Oh, it's, it's a lofty goal, but you have, you know, we all have a ton of community support. Yeah. So. We can do it. 
We're at 222, guys. 222 is the final number for today. I mean, I, I mean, there's a couple people. It's, I, it actually might go up again because we had some people who did it at the end. Okay, so in terms of what's coming up, not a whole lot, guys. Next, the next streams are going to be the at the very end of the month. We got two streams at the end of the month. We're going to try and do it to knock out the Partner Plus. Going to be really relying on Discord. There might be some game streams. Might be some game streams from Minneapolis, but I'm taking off to Minneapolis on Monday for the holidays. So we're going to be uh, we're going to be going from there. So that's going to be happening. Um, so in terms of streams, there's nothing really coming up. There's no mod work. There's no sorry. There's no Intel Morning Show next week. Uh, obviously because of Thanksgiving. If you if I don't see you before then, happy Thanksgiving. If it's not, if you're not in the United States, happy Thursday. Um, so uh, you know, I hopefully you get some good food on that Thursday too. But yeah, no heading up there. Picking our winner. Congratulations to Ubu. Ubu is the winner of the gift card. I'm oh, sorry, the uh, 7600X. Congratulations, Ubu, you are the winner. Congratulations, Ubu, you are the winner. Okay, guys, so anyway, that is it for today's show. Thank you very much. Can, uh, thanks to Cooler Master for hooking us up with uh, the, the new case. Uh, super awesome to get to check it out and uh, be there. Oh, that's okay. You're totally allowed to, Beard. Uh, thank you for uh, you know allowing us to see you know for us to get to check it out. Too bad it's a little bit damaged, but honestly, we got it all in. It's all fixed and in here now. So uh, the, if you want to see performance numbers and stuff like that, stay tuned. We're gonna get 4K numbers, and those will show up in the build, uh, the the remake of this stream. So we'll cut down the stream, and then of course show B-roll and then performance numbers there. So we'll be able to show you how this build does at 4K, uh, which will be super awesome. Please uh, make sure you tune into the Roby Tech Insider. Outside of that, guys, have an amazing holiday week uh, if you're in the United States. If not, have a great week if you're uh, all over the rest of the world. And we'll see you guys when I get back. Bye, guys. Bye, people. Bye, Zeistin. Have a good